things off with Tom Tom versus MJK. We got Elfelt coming in, newly added to Strive just recently, but we're gonna get to see that older version of her right now. Yeah, the one that everyone thinks of and remembers. This version of Elfelt has definitely always been juiced. The Tom Tom no slouch uh, pro with the Leo. So it's been interesting to see how this plays out to kick things off. And both of these were characters that came out first in Exert. Tom Tom has not skipped the beat and look at that relentless offense already going off. Debuts, uh, gets hit by the unblockable, so has to burst there to not get blown up. Gets the unblockable with the sniper rifle. Great spacing so far from MKJ. Really just trying to pull off the shotgun at any opportunity. Gets one big thing I've always seen just from like a lot of players. This matchup, put out the grenade, put out the shotgun. The shotgun explosion with the, the pine barrier is so huge, it stifles whatever Leo can get going. Right now, though, it is MKJ getting stifled as Tom Tom. One more hit, any little bit of chip, although 5H. There's the tech, there's the sniper. You have to empty everything at this point. There's the command roll through the fireball, and finally gets hit, though. That's going to be the first round here for Tom Tom. Very close down to the wire. All MKJ really needed was one more touch there. That's going to be a 6H round start. Nice little hits, but then just a run through. Nice, it's gives you an attack that closes the gap, especially knowing that Alpha was stuck in stance change. But there it is, Pineberry. No fear on the Aizen Sturm, and Tom Tom is taking advantage, forcing the burst out. And there, he's trying to hold down the fort. Absolutely. Great control of the neutral here with the Pineberry over and over, and great swapping as well between Elfelt's multiple stances here. But there's the air throw now from Tom Tom. Still has the life lead, has the meter advantage here, pushing the pressure, and now you're in the corner. Ooh, spooky there. Nice FRC. Looks like MKJ was ready, but now that risk is all the way topped up. There's the grab. One more hit will do it. But the tech board. Wait a minute. Tech jump S. The Elfelt special, one of the best buttons to tech out in the air. He's out of vulnerability. Oh, again with the tech out. Tried to go for the CQC, but gets blown up by the flash kick there. And Tom Tom closes out game number one. Man, Tom Tom, no fear. I mean, you got a game to give, right? Might as well let it rip. If yeah, you're that close, it's time for a scramble. And gotta keep them on their toes. And Elfelt's known to be really good at the scramble as well. Heaven or hell. Duel. Answer back. Getting things going. Game one to Tom Tom. One of the players I expect to go very far here. Has always done super well in like the Red Tuesdays. Big ups to Pat the Flip, who is also in bracket today. So good to see them as well. MKJ. Full offense. Finds the fast, uh, the fast dash with the Pineberry throw. But doesn't oh, get yeah. the, any kind of OP. And now in the corner. Yeah, first to try and release some of that pressure, but you see immediately using the run just to get right on in. There's the burst again. Aggressive wants to hold on to this pressure into the guard point. 2H is going to get blocked. Beautiful just blocks coming out, but great awareness there from Tom Tom to move back before the Pineberry blows. And that was in her hands too. Force guard stun, and it just makes AK, K, MKJ have to hold all even more pressure than they want to deal with. Tom Tom playing this so well. One more round away. This is all two out of three until we get to our top three. Absolutely. Dashing right on in. And so it's going to be absolute murders all over the place here with this two out of three format. And you can see the pressure is on. Catches the back dash there with the 5K into the restand. Goes for the overhead this time into the pizza cutter. And the blitz, you're dead. Absolutely stellar. Saw that first on MKJ's side, but Tom Tom said no. That's so good. That's that top tier awareness. It's definitely been gaining momentum, right? Gaining momentum ever since Exert got rollback. More people have been willing to put in time to figure out a lot of this character's cool options. If you're a Grand Blue fan, this looks a little familiar, right? The seals being set up, allowing Answer to go for those dashes. Now here we go. I like that. Using the chop just to blow up the gunshot. Safari trying to pull on in. Sparkle Lynn trying to play that chase down game, but Thumbtack very willing and able to just run away. Here goes Super, is caught on the seal, so it's gonna get blown up for sure. Lynn trying to get that shutdown, goes straight to the parry stance, but held onto it too long, Thumbtack was ready. All right, into the RC, get the Shadow Clone coming out. Chase the tech. And it's still able to put Sparkle Lynn into the corner. There's a beautiful air throw. Fates off the blitz. Gets a nice counter hit on it, too, and a full confirm. Now still creating space. This is the tricky thing. If you're not used to fighting Answer, his movement and the ability to be able to just kind of run away from you thanks to jumping on those seals can be very difficult to catch. 
Nice, the air throw, toss right back into the corner. Goes for the big 6-H, trying to score that counter hit, but that's gonna be round number one to Thumbtack here, closing it out beautifully. The use of RC here, the chopping the RC has been so good. All right, yeah, bursting that black beat combo. Doesn't want to allow Thumbtack to get any free damage. Sparkle Lin gets hit by the gold burst. 100 meter for Thumbtack. Look at all of these seals set up. Stop the short, tries to go for the empty low. Takes the disguise this time. There's the counter hit, but the tech out. Wasn't quite able to get the confirm that they wanted. Still trying to stick to Sparkle Lin like glue. Firm, tries to go for the JD there, not gonna quite work out. It's taken down to the ground though. Empty low is gonna get parried. Full confirmed too, thanks to the tumble. That's beautiful awareness from Sparkle Lim, recognizing how close they were to the corner. Gets the toss in the corner. This should be dead. We got those loops on deck. In dust we trust. So now one apiece when it comes to rounds here, going straight into round number three. Sparkle Lin already anticipating Thumbtack to get aggressive, so tried to go for that parry. Knocked down in the corner. Parry does get blown up. But there we go. That beautiful awareness, right? Recognizing that the Tatami hit just a little too high, so went for the super jump to get that extra hit in. Empty jump low isn't going to work. Sparkle Lin starting to get more comfortable here against Thumbtack. Now the Thumbtack isn't trying to play that kind of keep away game, that runaway game, but I think the super is going to hit. Straight to the knockdown, dash right on in, wake up with buttons. And now it's Thumbtack who's on the back foot here. Not a back throw, unfortunately, so we are back to mid screen, but Sparkle Lin still keeping up the pressure, even spending the meter to make sure that it sticks. That is quite another dash throw that we have seen multiple times here from Sparkle Lin hit. Thumbtack needs to be ready for that, right? Mm -hmm. Just the command dash into throw. It's been giving Sparkle Lin so much reward. Here we go into the instant rematch now. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> All right, rising JD to start things off, trying to catch Thumbtack going to the skies. And the burst does whiff. That is really unfortunate. Not quite as big of a punish as Thumbtack would have wanted, but you know what? We take it. Of course. If you're Thumbtack, you're happy. That's a big answer to what an answer has is just having that burst to avoid those big, those big hits that he can get when he has the scrolls out. It's okay. Get some damage. Blackbeat combos. We take those. Get some setup and I'm going to see. <laughs> it's always tricky because you're worried about a zombie when you're trying to go for these setups afterwards, knowing that you can just kind of scan and hold out for it. But it looks like uh, Thumbtack ready with some good some patience and making it work. Yeah, Thumbtack starting to go for a little bit more. La last game, we saw that they started to get a lot more aggressive. And when they were brawling with Sparkle in, that was when things were kind of falling apart. Like this, but then right? You see what happens. You yep. immediately go for the meatiest meaty, but wake up a zombie. It's going to shut that down, get the stun, and Sparkle in just holding down the fort. Knowing that her character you know, denies a lot of offense. Yeah, and Thumbtack was also doing a lot better when we were kind of playing that runaway game, that keep away game, just kind of force Sparkle Lin into these uncomfortable situations where she had to chase. So there's the burst. Now this is set point for Sparkle Lin, so Thumbtack really needs to make something happen here. And there we go, take you down to the ground. Gets hit by the 5 inch. I like Sparkle Lin though. Didn't even go for a zombie there, recognizing that they're not going to go for the real meaty. I'm going to go chase down with the jump S, and it's still a chase down, although FRC, it's huge. Opportunity, life totals are pretty even with the burst on Sparkle inside. Oh, what a use <laughs> of the disjoints. Crouch S, jump S, air zombie didn't quite work out, the bait on the burst. Still a thumbtack in a good spot here until, wow. until. Yeah, what in a zombie, and that's the thing about Mikan in this game. You always have to be ready for a zombie. If there's gaps in your pressure, you have to figure out what kind of parries does this Mikan like to go for? When do I need to sneak in throws? But Sparkle in is going to come out on top 2-0. Fantastic performance and fantastic adaptation after that very first round. Strong characters, so oppressive. You want to talk about set play in a game with a lot of strong set play characters. Milia is up towards the top. That was true. But in a match like this, it's, you know, a thousand, uh, thousand cuts versus just the big daddy damage between the two characters. So why not you have to try to navigate and catch Teddy Treebon? But when he does, her life will just evaporate so quickly. Get yeah, one coin, a little bit of bar. 
The thing that Teddy is kind of wanna, gonna want to do here is force those whiffs out of Johnny. You see, why not immediately going for the YRC after that whiff 5H? That's Johnny's downside. That is where he has a disadvantage, is that his moves have a ton of recovery if he can't force you to block them to go into the misfire cancel. Sometimes you just throw stuff out though. Nice FRC, uh, YRC, excuse me, on the beautiful just 6K. Immediate with the snipe. Hard a whiff on level three misfire. Yeah. Catching Teddy Treebark out of the sky. And that's like, this is where it kind of, you see that damage coming out, right? And like, just a lot of trades, Johnny just wins. Because a lot of those good pokes are from like the heavy, jump heavy, or far heavy. And it leads to just so much. Whereas, you know, Teddy is going to take advantage of the fact that Johnny's back is really good, but there's no defensive capabilities really on yeah. him outside of like a blitz. One thing you'll see too is Wynot is going to try to walk forward any time that he's able, right? The walk forward building so much meter for Johnny. It's kind of Oops. absurd. But we do miss the JD. That's the tech off. Still gets caught by the 6K though. It's okay. It's still, it's still football season. We're in the playoffs. Johnny is the all-star punter. <laughs> and he is just fighting the goals every time. And this game, he's the best grappler, too. Can't forget about that. Oh, faking out the Miss Fighter in the air. You saw Teddy froze for just a second, and there's the instant overhead taking out your dome. So why not takes game number one. You like million players. Like, you like set play? I got you. <laughs> you like guessing? But, like, my, mine's, mine's longer. Much bigger. You have to guess faster. <laughs> Like you saw like there's like a quick box jump into the overhead level three miss finder and then it's just yep. like it is what it is. It, but, I mean, it, you have but, to commit, right? You already have to commit before he even goes to the miss fire, which one you're gonna block. We haven't even seen Teddy get that kind of good knockdown that they really hope for. We've seen one like heavy uh disc into setup. So I need to see them get like that two D see if they can or a throw. See if they can force it. It's just hard to get inside uh why not like uh personal space. Yeah, and Zwei's also been doing a really good job avoiding the pin. Finally gets hit by it, but walks right out of the heavy disc. There's a beautiful backdash. Teddy is unable to really get anything started here. All the OP has just been nullified by Zwei. Yeah, that's a big part, right? I said, like, Johnny's reversal options are kind of like cluster, but his backdash is one of the best in the game for a character with just, like, amazing range of damage. You can avoid a lot of pressure just by wall timing it, although dashing in, you're not invulnerable, baby. You're going to get hit by the disc into the secret guard, and the secret's out. Big damage in there. Good chance for Teddy to get around, and that just to good. Beautiful stuff there. Really just reset after reset. They all connected. Teddy now trying to take control of the pace of this matchup, and that's some good momentum to ride on going to this next round. Backdash to force the coin to whiff. Oh, but check. That's why he's always pressing into those big spots, not letting any gap go unchecked. I think we're at level three misfinder now. Yes, we are. Saw it flash for just Ooh. a second. All right, rolling around speed of sound. Gets a mix up and the jump over, making a backdash kind of tricky to do. So Teddy finally getting great spot here. Gonna force the block. The secret garden mix up. Oh, a bubble never did so much damage. Damn. <laughs> Chat asking how negative is misfinder? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe level level one is your best bet, but uh, if it's level two or three, don't even don't even think about it. Oh, oh good night. Nice. On the ankles. The back dash just destroying so much of Teddy's pressure and the pin going the wrong way. Milia, you up your prescription. Can't miss Johnny. Ooh, what a test. The prepared yeah, and then five p anti air. Oh. Yeah, but didn't have the opportunity there to close out the round, so still has to chase down Teddy. This is anyone's game. There we go with the fastball catching his way on his toes. Teddy ties things up 1-1. One, one. So Teddy's game there. I like this. No one had the bar for uh, YRC, so it was just a game of just boxing around, flying around. That's like the beauty of Exert. All that beautiful movement just adding up into a moment like that. And Oh, both players uh, not leaving anything to chance. Going to a game three. Yeah. The one thing you have to consider, too, about a misfinder is Johnny's in this game are not really going to be throwing out misfinder on block anyway, right? They build up those levels and they only send out misfinder when they want to score L, when they know they're going to get a hit. Other than that, they're going to misfinder cancel at all times just to keep those buttons up because miss cancel is so strong in this game. Teddy getting hot in the up back. Every button anti airs, and Zwei is just defending the skies. Incoming damage. Yep. Oh my god, wait. We're zooming both players. Yep. Nice. Immediately going right back on in after that just block. Scores the throw into the full confirm with the Black Beat combo. 
As the YRC. Oh, again, trying to double roll. Gets out of the corner at least. But the throw, one more hit, anything could do. Chip damage even, but the wait. The earliest Y getting punished. Big chance for Teddy. Close to some pressure, but FD into 5k. We take those trades. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to put Why not now at set point here going into this next round. Round start. We try to go for the Sweet Chin music, but we are still able to get the air throw and the coin into the OTG. Unstoppable defense here from Zwei, just answering everything so well. Look how much levels. Good throw. Teddy's rolls actually working out, but Zwei's defense getting blown up. Big chance here. Teddy needs to take advantage of it. There's a burst available on Zwei's side and a lot of bars. What an FD and challenge. Damn. I love that burst, though. Just trying to keep Johnny in the corner, but it's not going to work, and this is painful. Nice tech out. A bit of a scramble. Tries to go for the 5D, but it is not, doesn't have enough range. Zwei's out. Gets more pressure in. Up close, close. S. The last hit's going to do it. And Zwei not. 2-1. to one. Taking Treddy Tree Bark down to the loser's bracket. And you just see that immaculate movement. No one gets a million player. Million players, double air dashes and rev. So we're going to see a great match here between uh, Joy's Hey Hugh and Pat Pat the Clips Chip. Pat's one of Dice Gate's strongest warriors here, for sure. But it looks like we're doing possibly a little bit of a button check, or are we going right into it? Okay, no, we're going into it. All right, this is definitely a real game. We both just back and off at round start, create some space. Big thing about this is, of course, again, Chip is another character that's so fast, has a lot of mix, hard to catch. Hey Hoon, though, going to hit like a truck. Yeah, no, very uh, kind of immobile, but it's got some unique tools that are really fun to see, but this is where uh, Chip is going to shine. You have uh, Joy in the corner, although that 2P, one of the best, like, map tools in the game. Yeah, this is straight into the knockdown. RC, another axe kick. Oh, how do you get out of this? <laughs> corner to corner pressure strings, big chance for Pat. With Gamble Blade, though, wanted that to hit, and then just got tacked. Stuff coming out. Rookie Smoothie King of Iron Bowl. That's a crazy name. <laughs> uh oh, but the OTG yep. carried all the way to the corner now. But we are pressing. We do not care. That 2P. <laughs> One of Heihun's strongest options. It's so good. It's such a good check. I called Pat the Master of Ashen, but Joy's trying to take that title. They're in first bait, though. Pat not biting with the pressure. This is where they can win, but they have to be careful. That game of win. Hold on. Oh, oh and my god. As well. Pat just kind of leisurely hung back there. Didn't really care. Said, all right, let's see what happens. It's not over yet. from Pat the Flip at a college level finds the overhead reset, tying up the rounds. You know, Pat's a very uh, freestyle player. So really fun to see like the, their decisions that they go through just to like make the, make the most of moments. Yeah, that's why a chip suits him so well, right? Because Chip, re chip really uh, rewards cheap, yes, free. you're right. <laughs> chip is really cheap, and he rewards that freestyle level of play because of how fast he is. You can constantly put your opponent in a bunch of different reset options. And again, the Gamma Blade beating out the Axe Kick here. It's going to be a better projectile than really anything that Hagen's going to have. is going to have to respect it when there's meter available on pass side. Yeah, nice avoidance. Charge up that foot mid-screen. It's just not going to work out anymore. It's basically been sealed. Look at this range. Although the FRC, why RC comes out? I'm saying FRC, I'm sorry. I was doing a lot of plus R research. You're good. You're good. It's a group. No good. Oh, it tries to go meaty, but it wasn't going to work out there. Unfortunate. Able to block the 5D, but still, we're stuck in this corner. To the other side, but gets caught. No meter, neither side. Oh, but the raw Gamble Blade connects. It's going to be a big guess on the side of Joy with a bit of burst and a last chance. Air throw. Anything will do. Oh my god, the ground bounce there. Very nice. Sets up the heavy orb. That would have hit, and that actually would have been a kill for Joy if we would have just reeled Pat in a little earlier. The 5H had been consistently catching Pat overhead throughout game number one. We were just a little off with the spacing. Yeah, the one time you needed it most, 5 heavy does not connect, and Pat runs away with it, saying, you want a 2P? I got you back. Right. Slapping it back, and I love this. <laughs> Again, this is, you know, neck and neck between these two, both just masters of their character. All right, round start situation, immediate teleport there from Pat. Nice catch by Joy, though. Able to block the Alpha Blade, immediately scoring the punish. Right. Guys are in store, same side. It forces the burst out. Really good reward for Pat. Didn't really spend a lot of resources. 
Beautiful YRC again with the Whoa. 5 H. At the back edge this time. Oh. Oh, wake up 6P. Good answer. Upper body end ball. Super strong. Rolling through the fireball. And now, Pat, without a life lead, almost had to juggle, but it's fine. They're in the corner. There's an advantage for Pat. Gets to throw, gets to mix. The defense here from Joy, though, really able to weather a lot of these storms. And is doing a good job finding those stray hits against Pat also. But speaking of stray hits, beautiful confirm there for Pat. Again with the 2P, the get out of jail card here for Joy. That'll do. Finds the overhead again as Pat's not blocking their dome, not protecting their neck. A lot of damage coming from it. If you're Joy, you're going to keep letting it rot. We haven't even really gotten any super kick loops yet, right? And that's where the real damage comes out from Hayden. Okay. Oh, good damage here for Pat. It's a wood screen knockdown. And again, same side mixies. Sending the burst a little late in the round here, but this is still doable, right? Uh -oh. oh, there we go, but too, too, high, high. too, high, too high. Yeah, Chip is a light character, so he is going to be able to tech out a little bit earlier. Right. First available, not going to want to spend it, and that's why Joy's keeping the loops nice and short. 60, 5D. Find me! Hope you found him. <laughs> I got you. Oh, twice. Just look at all joy right now. Just needs one more throw or anything. But Pat answers back. We're tied up. Pat the flip on match the point. All right, round start situation again. Last time we saw the teleport. This time goes right into the Alpha Blade. Teleport to get that mix started. Goes for the delayed 2D afterwards. Oh, this is not looking too good for Joy, but we're able to tech out, gets the 2P again. I told you, 2P, such a potent tool. Sorry, Joy. I wasn't expecting on your game. <laughs> Just look at this damage, both have burst. But the 5D, a different overhead comes out. That's the burst out of Pat. Only now Charged Joy with well. full burst. No meter on either side, but Pat has to be extra careful here. He's running out of options. Yeah, able to block all those overhead low mix-ups. Goes for the teleport in, but every time we go for a teleport in, Joy just starts mashing on the 2P and is able to take it to a game three. Pat really needs to figure out a way to just circumvent that 2P or blow it up, right? Because that's blow that, that's stopping so much of his teleport offense. It is hard, though, because, like, uh, Heyhun being so tall, a lot of these early jumps get blocked or hit so early that he lands, and uh, Joy has plenty of time to start pressing. And at that point, it's just like, bet. Why, why not? This button's doing everything. All right, early burst from Pat. Beautiful 6P poetry in motion. Tries to go for the DP. <laughs> A little too low to the ground. Oh, this is huge. Even with the mid-screen hard knockdown, there's the blender. Pat blocking it their life to try to survive this. At least has some corner, but... Oh, there we go. Nice. Well spaced. There. Had, had at least blow it up once at the game plan. Straight into the corner now. Trying to chase with those teleports. See, Joy just keeps going for it. It's working out so well. Nice Walk hit. Lane. That's a counter too. Full jungle has the bar. Can set up a big mix up. There's the kunai. Extra credit. Not a finish yet. Yeah, Joy recognizing you have to FD in that situation. The chip is substantial. The hero burst! The hero kick! It, it and the music! The first no, no, Pat risked it all! There can only be one hero king! No, there's was, only one hero! That was a perfect call out on the teleport rap! Oh, and on the first two, it's Pat now. That is the last life. In the set, the bounce off of the charge kick. No escaping Joy. There's the overhead again. And Joy just riding the momentum here. Loops after loops. The clap now. Two big hands with the DP again. It just has to find this last touch. This is so hard for Pat to make the comeback from. And there it is. 2P ends just the way it started. Just, just up, here. up next, we're going to get to see some Faust action here with Savior up against Lazy. Faust versus Axel. Love to see an Axel on the screen here in Exert. He's so cool in this game. Even if he might not be the strongest, has a lot of problematic matchups. 
this being no exception, and that's another reason Ooh. why. Look at that. Hit combos, yep. But Axel is unique that he has some tools to navigate around Faust. Like the, the parries can really be good against like certain things like the scalpel pull, etc. But uh, Faust just no slaps in that regard with just good folks to answer back. And a lot of like door FRC stuff, the YRC stuff to get around. Yeah, and having free room to throw out a lot of items too. Oh, and there we no. go, exploring the stun. But interesting. Okay, just going for the 6H into another item toss here to reset the situation. But that's fine. 2H is going to be enough there, catching the ankles to close out round Dude. one. I like the answer. I mean, you throw out items there where there might be a burst after the six heavy. And twenty-five dollars from Balthazar again. Thank you so much for your generosity. Let's go. Absolutely, all for God's gift here. Nice pacing. Uh, lazy, not really wanting to try to challenge yet. Yeah, instead, gets six people to troubles. Big damage as Savior is running a huge lead until Tech Two H comes out. There we go. Uh -oh. Another Renson, but now it is time for the black hole. Oh, real right on in. Tries to go for the 5P to pick up afterwards, but the tech out from Savior. Nice Renson. Gets for Mini Faust. No good items here, really. I mean, Mini Faust can get checked pretty easily. Renson will clear it out. Some pressure on. Really good round for Lazy. Yeah, one of the upsides here, uh, one of the upsides here definitely for Axel is the fact that Faust can't really approach him from the air, right? Faust is so slow in the air, has such a big hitbox too, that it's going to be three confirms just like that for Axel. So Lazy can kind of expect that Savior is going to try to move up on the ground, or like you mentioned before, utilize those door teleport RCs, right, to close the distance. Yeah, which part we want to see Savior make the most of their meter. Instead, they're making the most of their hammers. Those counter hits add up, and Axel going to easily get dizzy again if you're not careful. Oil's on the table. Axel can blow it up himself. Let's be extra careful. Another barrel. Yeah, just trying to find the right item to close the distance here. Mini Faust might be the option. Yeah, it was able to dash right in, but there's the DP from Axel. Please give that to him and strive. <laughs> Said uh, nobody except for Axel player. <laughs> Right on the trampoline. A chocolate bar, a little bit of candy to lighten the mood. Not the best thing you want if you're saved at a low life. Has a little bit of bar. It has the burst available. Might not even be able to get to use it. Is Lazy just happy to play the space? All right, Lazy, don't do no! the axle special. Oh, no, no, no. no. Lazy with, the, with a, uh, easy punish, but doesn't find it. In the corner now, but the 2K, low Let's profiling go. the jump 2K from Faust. What an answer to the drill. It works out. Yeah, 2K almost as low as Soul 2D in this game. Almost. Always a god button. We love it. It's his best, like his best reversal. <laughs> it is. It is. EP is reversal. fine, but low profile, my beloved. That's like both of them have that kind of capability. Faust with just crouching and 2K, and then Axel with just his own. Nice. We take those trades. Keeps the life total in uh, Lazy's favor. See, Lazy is definitely succeeding when he's trying to play that zoning game, right? Just sit back, pepper Savior with normals, deal with the items as they come out, and you can control the pace of this match. See, Savior cannot take to the skies in this matchup at all. You just can't do the Axel special, which is, I'm winning by zoning, now let me run in and lose. Yep, you can see that 5P checking a lot of fouls. Oh, wait a minute. Big, the big homie coming through. Nice block. What an air throw. FYRC off of the S teleport. That was cute. Oh, here we go. Time to go for the Sparrow. But get you. Uh oh. Charge throw. Meteors. A lot of respect here. Huge. Oh, getting the punish there on the 2K attempt and the OTG. Give him the lick, the slurp. Savior with the round. He's getting some answers here, but nice DP. I mean, Axel DP is really nice. He doesn't leave him. It's not counter hit state on recovery, and he's not crouching. So uh, you still get a good punish, but it's not as big as other other characters. And look at this, catching the tech check, over yep. <laughs> You cannot tech in the corner. If you do, please at least have D. Blockable setup? Okay. Doesn't charge it all the way, but still a huge round for Lazy. Look at this, just blocking Save down. And like, 
<laughs> the way that Lazy is playing right now and just completely controlling the neutral game, you wouldn't think that Faust is one of the best characters in this game. <laughs> <laughs> and Faust has made his match. And like, Axel's one of the worst. As much range as he has, he can deny a lot of things there. I mean, Axel under pressure, it's not easy. So once uh, you, if you can stay at this like nice range here, there's no really good items. You might have some kind of advantage. But Savior going in, nice bait, baits the burst or blocks the burst too. Really good, huge lead. There's the love bomb into the 6H, but it is going to get DP. Great reaction there from Lazy. And now you're back to square one. But this time you have a lot of meter to get in. Oh no, misses the FTC. Yeah, drill. Wanted to go for something bigger, but has a hammer. And a life lead. Save looking good here. Oh yeah, that's it. Beautiful trade with the 6P. Full confirm. Savior taking it to game number three. These pools already so insane. We've just gotten started. We have plenty of more Exer to come. That's right. So much more action as we're gearing up for the top eight qualifying winner. This goes against hype for sliced bread. Big reward here, man. Any match at this point is just phenomenal. As everyone's just blinding this game out. Not just for Frosty, because they enjoy it. It's one of those games that you just can always have a good time booting up. Exert will always be there for you, just like that air throw will be there for you. And now Lazy here looking okay. good. Goes to the scaffold this time. Yep, we're staying just at the tip of that 5P range here for Lazy, right, to try and stuff any item tosses that Savior wants to throw out. And it, it, normally Faust will kind of throw items out at a safe range, you know, to avoid the buttons from Axel, but we're back, our back is up against the wall. We don't have the luxury to do that. Yeah, and 5P unique. I mean, 5P catches Faust's hands as he raises it up to through the item, so Savior really has no good options here except for just trying to run up and find a way through, but... Okay, there's just a little bit of poison. That's something that's ticking down until he got hit. Never mind. Yeah, Savior really just locked down the way that Lazy is controlling this 5P after 5P. What and mixing in you? those little Rensons too to prevent the dash forward, right? What did I tell you about raising your hand, young man? We are not asking questions right now, right? This is teacher's time, and Axel's putting on a, a lesson. How to contain your Faust 101. They get super jump again. Yeah. All that the true block string. All the way back down. Oh, but here we go. This is opportunity now for Savior. He'll be able to knock Lazy down here in the corner, gets the bomb set up. Nice DP again for Lazy. I got the meter here, not respecting it. Really well done again, Lazy, using those resources extremely well. Having zero fear, because there's not much that Faust could really do there except just uh, take a measure of presentation today. You'd love to see it. Sure, I don't think we've seen a repeat yet, actually, in terms of characters on screen, which is really exciting to Jackpot. see. But yeah, I also, baby. ooh, oh, Keku coming through with $10. Axel O, more like Axel High, Axel High tier. That's right. <laughs> Maybe in Strive, bro. <laughs> Maybe in Strive. But, I, you know, I've, I've got a feeling. I, I can't shake this shake this feeling deep in my bones that we're going to see Raven this season in Strive. We'll see. We'll see if your, your bones are correct. I know that's what, I mean, you would like that, although you still prefer your Slayer. Yes, yes. But Raven will be cool. This character is super unique, very fun, and very easy, too. That's a big thing. Easy character to play. Look at this. Guess the swipe is going to start building up a little bit of that excitement meter. I mean, at least with the movement that RKW is going to have with D, he's going to be able to at least get that space back and find some good answers because, you know, Dizzy's set play. So crazy stuff can happen here. RKW is going to force that. Has to respect the fact that uh, perfectly balanced doesn't have a lot of resources for, a for dead angles. But keeping it really tricky, staying away from it, and forcing like the bubble pop finds the hit, and RTW takes that round after getting one chance at setting things up. Yeah, and that's really all you need. But a big part of this matchup, too, is going to be hitting that needle like we just saw, right? The needle is going to slow you down when you get hit by it, and that's going to be huge for Raven to get in on Dizzy. Beautiful forward dash as well. He does have that teleport. I like that. No fear. RTW immediately backdash, finding a hit. That total's pretty close here. Although, that's a huge clean hit for RTW. He's going to force a lot of pressure. Has resources, too, for FR, for YRC. So, just yeah. needs to be able to set something up and immediately get this tax. And literally no meter here on perfectly balanced side, right? So, has to fight a huge uphill battle. Getting out of all this pressure is going to prove to be so difficult. There's no getting out, Jobber. 
There's no getting out. <laughs> well, not at all. And the trade just like that dashes up and gives you the icicle. That's the first game. Everything there. You saw like the hit, the trade with the five heavy was just like the perfectly like the nice idea. But the bubble popping does not go away. And that was just a counter hit. Juicy for RTW to score the rest of the hit, and Babalu is gonna have to dig deep. RTW's plan is really, is really good. Face. Oh no! We chased all the way up, and we were able to get that just block. But right as we landed, we get hit by the counter hit, and now RTW once again trying to put perfectly balanced through the movement, movement tutorial here. Gets the swipe. Great grab, yeah. confirm, goes for the overhead. Raven with that unique air dash, right, which allows him to dive, a cornerstone of his mix-up game. But Swoopin ain't helping out here, though. Does he continue in the corner? The up back, at least almost saving lives, but never mind. RTW making full, taking full advantage of the hit. Look at all, all this crap on the screen. Look at all the stuff that they can just throw out, and Raven with his little his little pins and needles. All right, what, what is a little bitty needle going to do against fishes, bubbles, icicles, flame walls? Oh, well, a grab will do something. There goes VRC into another grab. Full confirm. But it, will it be enough? No, we got to find one more hit, and we're able to get it. So scary. Here we go. Okay. All right, round start. Nice with the counter poke there. RCW just going for a little bit of a slower option. Back is up against the wall. We set up the orb. Nice 5k anti air catches the quick the, the air tech. But really wake up crouch heavy. That's how we're feeling right now. And then we get the clash wars too. And RTW is relentless. There's at no point that RTW ain't just gonna be pressing something. I mean yeah, just has to keep something on screen, constantly moving at all times too. That's the dizzy special. When Dizzy isn't moving or doesn't have something out, that's when she dies. That was a beautiful 6P on the dive attempt as well. Do the conversion oh. on that? Are you kidding me? RTW finding the hit gets the low and match point. Yeah, the and awareness. That low, it delayed just enough to beat out the blitz attempt there from perfectly balanced. He was expecting the overhead. That's incredible. Like the fact that RTW landed that full combo off of just the ice spike hitting, the freeze just enabled just so much damage and RTW finding it. A soft knockdown, that's huge, but pressure's on. Babalu stuck in this corner again. Try to escape, has to use the burst, but at half-life. Yeah, this is so scary now for Perfectly Balanced. Able to find a swipe in the air, but is really just unable to keep RTW in the corner. That's the big thing that I've noticed so far in this set, right? Is once we get RTW into the corner, we give up just a little too space or we get too aggressive, RTW is able to go for those FD blocks and immediately super jump out. Far for the heavy to hit and doesn't get the air command grab. Although, uh oh, it's scary. The air throw is going to be huge and forcing the lockdown back on perfectly balanced. Gets knocked down the corner. Excitement's up, but meter is down. Into the throw. No, one more setup to get the kill here. Icicle hits, and that's going to be it. RTW with the 2 0. Ray. The warrior fights on. Yeah, go ahead and jump in there, guys. We still have 34 codes remaining. I want to see all those codes knocked out, all right, to support these players. So go in, use up those free codes. All the money in the match reel goes to paying out the players. And let's get right into this Joy versus White Beast. I think we have a battle for the best names. It's Smoothie King of Iron Bull. I don't know if it has a cult of candles and SCP Mariah Carey. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> This is I, thought, I thought she was back in the freezer. I thought she was back frozen after the Christmas season. That's right. Yeah. I mean, Joy's about to try and put White Beast on ice. Oh, no. White Beast, I mean, beating Yasagi. This is a different flavor of White Beast. They are, they are really pushing themselves to the limit. Although, Joy's going to hand it to them. <laughs> a round of applause, you may say. There we go, gets the low off the plus frames. Ooh, the Goomba stomp, but does get caught by the throw. This is gonna be kind of a similar matchup uh, vibes-wise for Joy as it was against Pat the Flip, right? Kind of similar, trying to catch these fast-paced characters, lock them down and scoring those big counter hits, and Joy is gonna get the first round. Yeah, he's battling back, just taking advantage of the big damage. I mean, both these characters like their set play, even with different flavors of it. But White Beast just trying to navigate around, it's taking a lot of incremental damage, just trying to get close. And all right, fighting back. Here we go. 
Look at these just blocks, challenging the roll with the 2P. Wait, you know how effective that 2P was against Pat. Oh my god, White Beast with immaculate blocks. And Quiet 2 is crouching heavy. That was crazy. Hit with block one side, gets the cross up block. Really deserved to get this knockdown in the setup, but immediately wake up 2P. Oh, nice. Good shield out of it. Do another. Whoa! YRC spiked right to the ground. Nowhere to go. Also, the tricky spot. Gets blessed. Oh no, White Beast is just being put in the blender. Like I'm telling you, it's just. You have to change your blocks so much and so often, and it's just so hard to get away. Yeah, there's, there's no way to get away. <laughs> and Joy's been just so proficient at l catching these fast-paced characters, right? Doesn't matter if Boom is a little bit slow. That's not a problem for Joy at all. And Ricky coming through with the $50 contribution to the match, Reno. Thank you so much for the support. Let's go, Big Ricky. Much appreciated. And these players more to fight for us. Now White Beast fighting back. Finds a... With heavy and blocks the burst, this is one of those one of the rounds you only dream of your ability player. As long as you can avoid getting two peed by Hey Hewn, I think you're okay. Uh oh no, the burst throw! He stole, stole so the stole. Perfect. That's it. Throw in the towel. Someone help! I said this is the match. This is the round the million player dreams of. But then their heart and soul is just ripped from their bodies and Joy is likely the finds Kali the hit, Ma, gets the orb, and gets the fish. Not the Kali Ma. And now it is set point here for Joy, threatening to send White Beast down the loser's side. Alright, here we go, finally scores a knockdown, sets up the disc. Joy's defense is just so phenomenal. Does get caught though. The just block there on the axe kick from White Beast. Great reaction. Sets up the secret garden. <laughs> Wake up, Grandpa Viper. That was an interesting interaction for sure. <laughs> I mean, Joy has tried every kind of answer. You know, they're pulling out whatever they can throughout. Kind of really makes it fun to watch as nothing goes off the table. Yeah, but White Beast has been in pretty full control here this round. Going to be able to get the kill with the OTG. There we go. Nice stuff from White Beast still in this. Round of the board. White Beast needs to you know, keep that momentum. Try to tie things up one-to-one -one here. His pressures are already coming out. And Joy is just being so hard to catch. Nice. Nice hit. Gets a knockdown too. Crouch confirmed. Really big use of the pin to keep the pressure going. And yeah, I like this. White Beast forcing the burst out back to mid screen. Gotta be careful though. Joy's fishing for the big ball. Uh oh, yep. He is storing the ball. Keep the pressure up. Nice. But the air throw. White Beast able to weather that storm. It's a complete turnaround in this game now. You gotta be careful though. You know, Joy is sc scouting for that one chance to go crazy. But running out of chances and the meter spent, yeah. White Beast gonna try to commit. Only needs to throw, only needs any little combo. He's human on in. <laughs> oh, oh I, the kick, the launch. That's a start. Nice burst. Yeah. Immediately seeing the, the ball being charged. Don't want to get caught in that kind of a mix up there. Good reaction from White Beast. Also not really going in and getting too aggressive, right? Just trying to find that stray hit. Playing the lane game, letting the clock go down. That is so important here. You don't even have a lot of meters, so who cares about the danger penalty, right? What about danger? Hair, pin solves all and now we're tied one to one as awakened white beast is yeah. tearing through this bracket on their mission to top eight huge turnaround there for white beast now let's see if we can keep that same game plan up here going into game number three against joy heaven or hell duel one let's rock let's rock round start immediately going for that far slash See, Joy's trying to kind of control a little bit of the spacing there, control the neutral by sending out that heavy ball. When we have the room to do it, it's going to be good to just put a moving hitbox out on the screen. 
but now it's coast to coast confirmed. You're right back where you started. There's the 5D with the whiff punish. Here comes okay. the hard knockdown. There's a thing here. Good for White Beast. Gets the knock. Yeah, gets the pressure. And really, there's barely any meter here for Joy. He's gonna have a burst available soon, but gonna have to save that for the second round. Is oh, what he'll do? Throw over the pixel on a dream. But White Beast just big chilling. Yeah, don't have to do anything. He could just stand there menacingly. It's like, what, what are you? What, what, what's up? What's up? I love the down forward from Heihoon. Just slowly moving on in. <laughs> I love the, the little treads just rolling on it. Unfortunately, you're not Guile. You're not charging. You're not charging a flash kick during that. Okay, just blocks in the air. I nice, mean, I love the Yeah. Yeah, it's super good. As just wants to stay off the ground, knowing that a 2P can come at any moment. It's really not been a factor ever since game one. The 2P from uh, Hey here really has not been a tool for Joy to really bust out from. Uh, White Beast is just playing at great ranges and only really going in when they have that pressure. Look at that, the back dash just baiting the 2P. Yep. So smart, able to beat the burst on top of that, gets the knockdown with the pin. Just like you said, the pressure here is so strong. Catches with the 2P, has 50 meter. Spin to win, not enough though, but the OTG with the stanky leg is gonna do it. White Beast with a beautiful turnaround of that set, going on to top eight winner's size. That bet Dizzy, who is gonna be, you know, tore right through perfectly balanced. So let's see, can Puddles, is able, Puddles able to weather the storm, set up the swords, and put Dizzy under pressure? They both kind of have, they both kind of want the same thing. But Dizzy's going to have more tools in the mid screen to really kind of support her antics. So Puddles needs to find that perfect spot. Yeah, and with Dizzy's movement as well, uh, and pretty decent air buttons, going to be able to kill those swords too on top of that. And if you're killing those swords, it's going to make it really difficult for Ram to get anything started. Whereas, I mean, dealing with some of these fishes, that's the hard part, right? <laughs> the cat like fish. This, cat -like this, should be, this should be good for Ramathol. Not these fishes. Look at that. That's a spicy one right there. Does get hit by the icicle. And look, RTW has been in full control right now. Puddles keeps trying to set up that sword, but to no avail, can't get the swings out. Yeah, it's just with a pixel of life here. I mean, Puddles just, if they mean they get the lockdown. They could at least like put some pressure, but the scary part is, yeah, the scary part's 2P. Like, Ramothal builds the opponent's burst gauge so much, even if Puddles got a hit. You know, all it's going to do is give RTW a lot more burst, and um, that's like the hard part about playing uh, Sniper Fall, this version of the game, is just the fact that you can usually get like two bursts per round consistently against her. You know, if you work around that, you still do a lot of good things, but it's annoying. Yeah, and you also have to think too, the risk reward there at the end, RTW having so much life, Puddles having no meter, so why not mash on the pressure, right? If you get hit, you're still going to be alive. But now you have to be a little bit careful. Pulse is starting to build that meter up a little bit. Gets another command grab in for the juggle. How do you like it? How do you like getting grabbed up? Under Both pressure? swords set up. And nice. Goes for the dead angle. Oh, my God. RTW finds these amazing air throws. Like, bro. You know, you know what's the, the real good league players right there? These clutch air grabs. To change the momentum. Absolutely. I mean, you better be good at them if you're playing a character that spends so much time in the air, right? Able to get the dash in, trying to squeeze out as much damage as possible. Not enough to get the kill, but the gold burst is going to whip. Luckily not punishable. Last chance here. Good blocks. RTW with a burst of their own. They can get out of any antics. Oh, no. The side swap. And the hit to RTW getting pulled out of the corner is the last thing I think Puddles would want in that situation. And then RTW just finds that counter hit. Gets the extra credit, takes game one. Yeah, beautiful play here so far from RTW. Puddle's really going to have to answer back. It's been so difficult to be able to get any swords set up mid-screen at all, honestly. The only time we've really seen the swords consistently come out is when Puddle's is able, just through sheer, you know, moving around in neutral, able to corner RTW, forcing them to put themselves into the corner. Just like that, right? One hit, forced into the corner, but we are able to air dash right on out and immediately takes back control of the pace of the match. Pit pinning, oh my god. Again, these beautiful air throws. Puddles is just not safe anywhere on the screen. They can't be full screen, they can't even try to get up close. RTW is just picking their spots so well, so fluid with the movement. But, big chance here for Puddles. The burst is going to be probably the biggest thing. RTW is happy to block and use the dead angle. <laughs> Amazing. 
Yeah, and Puddle's not having any meter available to keep that uh, keep the momentum going either. Here we go. Finally scores a hit. Baits out the burst. Puddle's ready for it. The layers. Oh, and slides right on in, faking out the overhead. There's a blitz available here. And then just a mash out. RTW finds a way. Their defense and their Abare just too good. Gets the blitz. Really sets up the Firefish. Instant, or a dash in for the overhead. And Locked this down. is scary. Oh my god, Chip is on the table too. Ooh, the slide! No, again! How many times have we got caught while trying to set up sword like that, right? When you're in the corner just trying to send out a sword or trying to call back a sword, you immediately get caught by the dash in JP. Goodness. Puddles in a rough spot. RTW one round away, making top eight winner side. Flame of Pillar is just denying space, denying movement. Puddles finds a hit though. Biggest chance that they have right here. Get some good damage, go for to the table. Get the sword set up. Yeah, I'm gonna say, how can they crack open RTW's defense? Overhead. A little leggy. And now the first E is back. Question is, is RTW just gonna hold on to it, try to get out of the corner the, the original way? No, <laughs> they have no choice now. All right, nice. Puddles on the board with the round. See if we can get the game, take us to a game three, flash their round start. God, give me danger time. I love it. Just a run up high five. Just stare at each other for like a second here. It's like, wait a minute. It's like when two boxers touch gloves and starve around. <laughs> Overhead counter hit. That's juicy. No burst mark. holding onto that burst. Oh, there it is. A goal like first two. Oh, now, no. All this Peter able to immediately put puddles into the corner thanks to that beautiful IAD. And right now we're in a check situation. Can we get our king out of the way? All right, the fish didn't get hit with a dead angle. Big win for Puddles, but there's still one more Ice Spike wire C available, just in case. Look at this patience too. Willing to just sit back, but gets the strike. Burst comes out for Puddles. That's gonna be it. No more burst available for both these players in this round. RTW life lead. It's thrown though. Oh my god. This is everything you oh. can hope for and more. No burst on the table. Can you finish the job before burst comes back? You can't. We have to bait it out. You have to guess it out. Up oh, there it is! It. And we do go to a game three, and you are right, absolutely right about the amount of burst that Ram gives the opponent. RTW was down to half burst with barely any life left. It was still able to get it back just the final hit. The puzzles played that so well. The guy got hit by a goal burst earlier in an earlier round, right? So just said run up, help block, block the, the regular burst, and got the punish. And it's such a good call out on RDW's tendencies. Puddles is elevating, taking an early burst too. That's a huge W. Now they're just gonna find the hit to follow up. mix up the dash the air dashes have really been consistently hitting overhead here and we haven't seen a whole lot of representation of the empty low quite yet from rtw oh my god combo time you might be dead no okay we're set up guts come into play for now uh puddles not getting the play and just huh. yeah all that pressure high low up downs match point again for rtw Juggle to the corner with those Tekken-like strings. There's the 5D. Put you right back into the wall to set up these swords. The damage on this. We might, we have to be getting close to stun, right? I mean, it's dizzy after all. Yeah, she does she have the lowest dizzy name. modifier. Okay. There, there it is. It is. And, and the now flips combo just to make sure first on a factor. And that final, final round. Game. Final game. Final round. Yep. Duel. Oh my god, the trade, the side swap trade, are you kidding me? Oh, huge. Puddle's getting the side, a, a full side swap, not from the corner. Oh, not the goal burst, the whip on the overhead. Yeah, that was he finds a way. Crazy whip punish there from RTW, and now with all this meter, catches the air throw again. Puddles, it's time to block for your life. Block for your life, Puddle. It's a new movie coming up soon. That's at least four, mind you, 
Or Ice Spike YRCs that you're gonna have to block. Yeah, sends out the burst. Don't blame them. Oh wait, gets the trade off the wall. Dizzy in the corner. Big opportunity here. Gets the reset overhead. And then the reset again! Oh my god! Maximizing you might be dead. the damage, minimizing the burst, finishing the job. Puddles is gonna Let's take it. it! Boom! Unreal! Unreal! The Dizzy Curse having the lowest stun modifier in the game. Didn't even get an opportunity there to block one last mix up. It's going to be Give versus Teddy Treebark. This, I like this matchup, all right, as a Slayer player myself. <laughs> This is quite enjoyable. <laughs> it is a lot of chasing down melee, but 6H is your friend. Knock her out of the skies, and let me tell you, if she gets caught, she dies. That's just kind of how this matchup works. Oh, try to get cute fully charged. Uh, let's show maybe thinking that Teddy will blitz back. Gets thrown for the troubles, but the chase down is real. His give is not giving up anything here, moving in, and just throwing shit out. I mean, that's kind of what Slayer does in this matchup. Is this matchup hard for Slayer, chat asks? No, not really. In fact, I I think Slayer has a lot going for him in this matchup. The big damage is huge, right? He ha it, it's it's kind of like a fly versus a fly slaughter, but Slayer can backdash a lot of Milia setups like that. Disc really is not a factor in this matchup against Slayer. He can just backdash out of all of this Oki, and if he scores a counter hit, that's it. Like, your is losing half of her health. I love that freeze frame, by the way. Slayer does not have bones. He's just made a rubber hose. Exactly. <laughs> He's got that cartoon power up. There we go. Catching the back dash there with the forward dash. Tries to go for the it's late. Oh, crossbow's heal. Not going to be good here, but the 5P finds a home and a big life lead as Teddy is just blocking. Have to block things out. And I love the way that we're going for un whiffing under pressure over and over to kind of bait Teddy in to attempt to punish, right? And that's when we throw out the pile bunker. Catching the tech out with the 5P, strong anti-air. Okay, nice. Makes up, forcing the burst out. Give with the meter. Oh my god, I love it. YRC battles. Yeah, we tried to go for the dash in with the YRC to get a throw, but Teddy was quicker on the draw there. Gets the knockdown. Jingles. Remember that 2H is low. Good nice. challenge. Really, really good challenge. I mean, it's a I layered we thing too, right? Mm -hmm. That's the big thing. If you get a just block on under pressure, you can challenge it. Otherwise, uh, I would not press because the threat of uh, its late counter hit is huge. Helter Skelter. Nice patience here from Chetty. who's just backing it up, letting the risk go down. Pile Bunker forces the block. Oh, no! A bit of a scrambly situation there. This is real Slayer hours, all right? I'm blocking. I'm, I'm oh. dandy. I'm scooting. I am just always getting something going. That was a wake-up throw. No back dash, no jump away. It was just nope. a snatch into grab and to finish. Okay, I see another thing in chat. So the strive version of this matchup is Melee versus Gold Lewis. Kind of, but imagine if Gold Lewis didn't have to hold Melee's mix up. <laughs> That's kind of how it works, right? Uh, in the corner, Slayer does have to hold some of it, but still, even going for back dash cancel jump to fuzzy jump out of the way and FD to make sure you're not forced to block an overhead low is such a good tool for Slayer. <laughs> Having an extra level of disrespect and immediately, like, pressure? No. There is always a way out of Slayer. Oh no, the bad. Try to guess, but Helter Skelter hits low, and now Millie's life is just evaporating for her eyes. There's the Pile Bunker. RC Pile Bunker again oh, into the Undertow! Unblockable! That's what, you, he's a cartoon character. See how big his hands get? This, this is like before Luffy, there was Slayer. If you go for the unblockable of Slayer, that's just disrespect actually. That is like, my opponent is going to block. Tries to go for it again, and it hits! I think, no, you're not dead. You have one more life left to give here. The undertow is just sucking Teddy down further into hell with a burst and a dream. Can Teddy do it? Oh my god! Yep, map a hunch blowing right on in, and there it is, 2-0. Give is going to eliminate Teddy and move on to top eight loser side. And that's the thing, not a qualifier, not a qualifier. Yeah, this is, the winner of this will get a chance to face RTW for that qualifying match. Oh, excuse me, and the Give versus Teddy Treebark one wasn't qualify either, I looked at the wrong match. It's going to be Give versus Joy as a top eight qualifier. <laughs> oh, big laps, uh, path to flip. Is 
gonna fight Tom Tom later for a qualifier as well. Had to flip, took out Yusagi 2 to 1. Way to go. Wow, Yusagi not in top 8, that's crazy. Says that, says that 2024, anything can happen. I'm all for it. I love the parry there on the love bag. And Savior once again just locked down in the corner. Finally burst, but the wow, Scapel is getting beat out by Tatami. Okay. Going my way. Savior looking good here again. Ooh. Bombs out. Throws out. I think it's a, Faust doesn't have to worry like too much about like I mean like any character has to worry about a zombie, but I think Faust has larger options. You kinda get around that. But uh Sparkle in, finding a way, gets thrown for her troubles though. Meteor gets avoided, but nice blocks. Super is oh, gonna catch. Wow. No. Nope, yeah, we got a dodge there, recognizing the amount of meter that Sparkle Lynn had. Good decision making there from Savior. The farther away you are from Viking in this matchup, kind of the better. <laughs> I mean, Godlike Punish. Using a bomb bag like that effectively is super smart. Already Savior with a huge lead. Great items. Forces up to the zombie, but sets up the overhead. Oh, uh -oh no, the Dizzy! Okay, nice oh. mash out, hell yeah. Yeah, we were mashing for our life there. Oh, doesn't get the air dash. But does get another zombie, the anti-air. Big damage turning this around. Is Sparkle still in it. Trying to go for the 2 age. Stopping short there with the command dash. This time able to score the hit. Gets the burst out of Savior. And still has Savior locked down in the corner, but here come the meteors. Nice, uses the armor to go make sure those aren't a factor and Sparkle Limp bringing this back. There's the YRC. Oh no, does it work? <laughs> it's caught. Tuber, is it gonna hit? Bingo. It does. Faust was stretching out with that 2K and that's gonna be game number one, or excuse me, the next round here to Sparkle Limp. Right, trying to get oh. the JD. Does get caught by the scaffold there in the air. Zombie, air zombie getting tagged out. Oh, big trade. That actually works out. And then you see the problem. Soccer getting low profile. No problem. The trade on the bomb bag actually works out for Sparkle Earth. And Savior just giving all these food, the donut and the chocolate here to Sparkle Lynn. Not as much damage on the field as we would expect, but the jump pad is there. Disappears just as Sparkle Lynn is about to land on it. Beautiful Azami again gets the wall stick. Huge damage. It's gonna turn the tide in the favor of the tech though. Wait a minute. Caught. Okay. Okay. bomb bag into the slowdown. Uh oh, oh but the 100 times! Lucky day! The weight, the power, and a 5k. Savior's item luck just blessing them through and through. As There's a handful of items that can stop supers like that. So the, 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 the 100 ton is like the best case scenario. Just because no matter where it lands, it's going to hit the quake and stop uh, biking in her tracks. And we've been getting a surprising amount of 100 ton pulls as well here for Savior. And he's been doing a phenomenal job, uh, you know, playing around them, converting off of them in some cases when they hit in the air. But here we go. Goes for the YRC, immediately lands into the throw. It's a free donut, though. Not the worst. Yeah. <laughs> and no, no one. Oh, there we go. Item throw getting stuffed, so that's not bad. It's supposed to win just overhead. Tries to find a 6 on the attack, but not quite. Bomb is out. Goes for a run-up throw this time, though. Goes to low. Got a guess. And with the poison and the RC, yeah. Savior, match point. It's always tough. I mean, you see Savior taking advantage of, like, hey, if you want a zombie on wake up, I can run-up grab, run-up unblock. A lot of options just to kind of stifle that. And it's so hard, like all these multi hitting buttons and the low profile from Faust add up to that. Immediately run up, going for the unblock, seeing, just denying all these Asamis. Yep, there's Mini Faust with the OTG, but we immediately wake up into 5H. Across the other side. Oh, there we go, Yo Zonson, but not able to really get anything off of it. That's oh, so unfortunate. Feels like that might have been waiting for a burst. Did it come out? It's gonna be huge damage here. Gets the spike. One more hit will do, even some chip damage. Sparkle in in a rough spot here. And there it is, the 2D. The big head mode coming on out. Savior going up 2-0 over Sparkle That in. used to be one of the Temkin's worst matchups, so you, you do the math there. But we're going to jump into Pat the Flip versus Tom Tom, and right off the bat, Pat is swinging. 
I think this was what Pat was saying. I have to fight like all of Caliburst. All of my boys like lined up one to one just to make top eight. And everyone in chat should like pass it. <laughs> Yo, DP in this the is the air. future that you built for yourself, all right? You gotta deal with the consequences of your actions. And right now, dealing with that no problem is Tom Tom is under pressure. Oh, and the 2D gonna whip right underneath that flash kick attempt. Pat keeping the pressure up here in the corner, but a 2D answer there from Tom Tom finally escaping. Can we get some offense started though? Oh, that run up 2K just mashed those 2Ks out. Rapid fire. Keep those block strings just nice and tight. Boom, boom, and round one of the pack. Stuff. Pat just controlling, you know, the tempo of the match. It's a big thing for Chip, right? Trying to be unpredictable, uncatchable, forcing these whips and getting these punished. I said, you, you really think Chip's going to be where you want him to be, but it's never the case. That's the fun part about playing Chip is you just get to subvert your opponent's expectations constantly. And it's it's aggravating for them and it's fun for you. You see Pat just laying it in thick, mixing it up, getting the hit, going for the leaf grab, maximizing the damage, has resources, there's the Kunai Super. Into another leaf grab, gets to confirm afterwards, and Pat with a dominating game number one. Remember, this is still the loser side of the bracket here. And this is also a top eight qualifier on loser side. That's right. But the, the partner power-up is real, as Pat is just going all in. Tom Tom has to find those spots a little bit better, or else Pat's going to take it to him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Leo a little bit on the slower side, right? But does have the tools to kind of lock down ship, catch him. Those forward-moving normals are very good, things like 5k, 2d. Well, the rare block of the chip 6k immediately goes in, but Pat just staying. The floor is lava. Yeah, I don't, big, to, I don't have to play around here. Big thing about this match, too, and you're noticing it if you watch Tom Tom, Leo's a very grounded character, right, in this game, compared to the high flying chip constantly going for teleports, taking to the sky. So it's proving to be a little bit difficult here for Tom Tom to shut that down and keep Pat grounded. And now we're attempting to cook up a perfect, which has been soured by that DP. Alright, the one shot, big chance here, at least get the burst out of Pat, but what do you do for Tom Tom? You get grabbed up, one throw away, oh, the wake up! Pat had been doing such a good job of avoiding those. Gets the counter. Steal this back. Needs one more hit, though. Yeah, and the dash to the other side. Nice. That, that's the game. Like, Pat, you know, went all in on the grounded knees. But Tom Tom, even though had been whiffed a couple of reversals, can't be afraid to let it rip. Oh, you got to be brave. The 2H hitting from behind the back into the full confirmed restand time. Oh, so they just countering the clone. <laughs> good reactions. Good decision making here from Tom Tom. Oh, no, but getting a little too greedy going for the DP. Oh, the 5H Bro. hitbox. 5H hitting so behind. So juicy. That's the last thing you want to earn into. Pat goes for the immediate burst. Has to respect. There's a little bit of bar here on Tom Tom's side. Oh, oh just the wire Patience here, though. Great block on the 5D attempt at 5D. So far, that was a huge 2H. Tried to go for another one, but Pat was already on top of him. And another with DP. This time, they're going to survive, but the Gamma Blade is going to shut things down. Oh, that's huge. Pat again, finding those sweet spots. Again, just really freestyling it, letting things work out and not getting deterred. Because all these little hits, they're not forcing combos. It's damage, sure, but it's not putting Tom Tom in a situation where he can get on offense. Pat is just riding the tide, flowing through. And look at this lead they have going on right here. Yeah, it's like jabs and boxing, right? Just peppering your opponent with jabs, controlling the momentum of the match, the pace of the Ooh. match. And beautiful confirm. This is a knockdown. Teleport, baits out the DP. And that's going to be all she wrote. Pat going on to top eight loser side here, taking down Tom Tom. Let's go. Great stuff to Pat. Yeah, and we got the Arc Finals coming up, which is going to have a Strive and a Grand Blue. And of course, we also have the SNK Finals coming up. So it is a good time to be a fighting game fan and a good time to be an Exert fan here with Puddles versus White Beast kicking off this top eight winners. Puddles with a huge win over RTW. I mean, by the skin of their teeth, played it so well, but White Beast has been on a tear, taking down players like Usagi, 
taking down Joy. So really has been elevated here and already starting off great. There's the pressure in the corner, finds the fuzzy wuzzies. I like the patience here as well. Just trying to see which swords are going to come out. Does get clipped, and the burst is blocked. This is not good for White Beast. We do have 50 meters, so Dead Angle is an option. Instead, we go for the Blitz, the riskier play. Riskier, but saves you on that meter. And now you can run this mix-up game. 6K again. Gets the pickup. But a drop combo. Yeah, no way. Bad meter, though. Five spot, yeah. Just hard to, hard to block all the way throughout there. It wasn't even like anything major of a mix-up. But just like the slight side stagger works up for White Beast, takes that first round. This is two or two out of three. It will not be three out of five territory until winners finals. So this is a you know huge match against Darren and Toast. Oh my god, swipe right out of the skies. That could have been a lot more dangerous there for White Beast if Pelos was ready to get the confirm. But able to block the low hair car. Look at that, the stare down, holding down back patience again. That's one thing about White Beast, right, is willing to just kind of sit and see what you're going to do for a second. Not too concerned about always being in. Doesn't want to make any mistakes by overextending. And yeah, and just answering things really well, like avoiding the, the gold burst there. Managed to get these, like, really good air-to-airs, timing things right. But Puddles finally finds that big hit that it's looking for the first game. He's got to get the knockdown, got to set up for a finish here. Right, spin to win. The box still holding it holding it. holding until the end wow what a press with a pixel of life white yeah, beast not giving up that low again white beast really loves to go for the heavy disc into the hair car setup but puddles with the five piece swiping away beautiful pressure here from white beast Ooh. now but Ooh. all daru coming in walking first on top of it up first there, really hard sometimes midstream, first rival ball. Just to run up lights. Easy first punishes, and now in the corner here, White Beast running out of options, running out of time. Gets hit by the, gets command grab for their troubles. And this should end it up here. Yeah, Milia, not a lot of guts, not a lot of life. And Puddle's gonna be able to take game number one off that raw Daro, that was beautiful. Yeah, super nice. And super nice. People are still using up those coves. There are still a handful left in the match arena. We have 18 more. I know there is still 548 of y'all. Just all you have to do is log in the match arena and then click claim code and that'll drop 125 cents. We're almost to $100 in the prize pool. So thank you everyone who's been clicking and contributing. Yeah, let's try and push it to at least 100 to hit that goal for these Exer players here to give them a lot of love and support. And right now, White Beast needs the support to keep this pressure going and tie this up 1-1. Remember, we may be in top eight, but this is still two out of three until finals. Okay. Nice. You get four, has the meter spent, forces the burst out, so a big win for White Beast. And again, as long as they can answer in neutral when there's not really any sword present, they look to be in a, in a solid spot. Oh, but the air throw there from Puddles immediately putting White Beast into the corner. And that is not where you want to be right now. Has burst, but you don't want to be a hero and spend it at this point. I think it's okay. Honestly, against Ramothal, I think that's fine. Because you, you know you're going to get it back. Really no problem. There's a whiff on the Blitz. White Beast not giving any inches. And now we're back down to a situation where both players don't really have much bar. Jump Heavy's going to connect. He's going to put Puddles in the corner. Can Puddles find another clutch air throw? Were they going to suffocate to the Amelia pressure here. You see, just trying to move around, find that straight opening to get a hit, get some offense started. I love the way that White Beast is willing to just sit back. Doesn't always, not always having to be aggressive with Amelia, knowing when to hold him and when to fold him. Time's running low though. 15 seconds left on the clock. Gets the counter hit. Huge momentum shift. Yeah, Puddle's using the burst. Noise only 10 seconds left, but gets grabbed. Has to guess this mix. Blocks has blocked pretty much every air car consistently. And now he's just going to play the runaway away. game. Run down the clock, and that's going to be it. With the timeout, White Beast. All right, y'all. Put that on your bingo. The Exeter timeout, the rare occurrence coming out from Amelia player, no less. Right, yeah. And that's just, again, it's about how White Beast plays his character. So patient. Well, he knows what can happen if he runs into the front of a truck. <laughs> he ain't trying to get isekai right now into the loser's bracket. He's seen what's happened to his forefathers, the other million <laughs> players throughout the years. It's not over yet.
You don't play with God, all right? <laughs> oh my God, just run up command grab like that. That's gonna be coast to coast, into the wall stick. All right, gonna see a rare winger or no? White Beast is just holding on to all that bar, waiting it out, doesn't want a dead angle until there. Yep, found the right opportunity. 6K into the RC. Not quite able to bait out the burst, but that's all right. You always have to be ready for the pin. All right. All 1-1 one, one in our first game of top eight as White Beast, who has been tearing through their opponents and doing a really good job, but main puddles after a clutch win against RTW for the qualifying match is knows how to be clutch. So it's hard to predict who will take the win here. Let's rock. As we are now down to our final match between these two. Nice 6P there from Puddles, though. Need to get that anti air, trying to get that JH in, too. Squeezing in some pressure, but able to avoid the sword. Sword is down now. This is where White Beast King start turning it on. Yeah, great spot. Look at this pressure here. You know, Puddles doesn't want to have to burst, but it's going to have to choose to do so soon, and there it is. Still, you can still make this comeback, right? Ram does have the damage advantage here. But you have to first find a way to escape from this corner. Sitting at nearly 100 meter, dead angle is an option or blitz. There's you the dead the, angle. Yeah, you saw a bait early with the double jump, so White Beast really cognizant of the opponent's resources. But still, it's light life for White Beast. That could evaporate any moment. Doesn't have the pin either. Has to be extra careful here. It's forced to burst. Not forced to burst, but decides to burst. Yeah. And you see Puddles also, after the burst, immediately dashed on in to try and lock down that pin. Fortunately, it came back to haunt them, right? Got a little too aggressive, overextending a bit. And White Beast wasn't too concerned with trying to get on the pin desperately like some million players do. Alright, again, hits his mark here with the counter hit. You have to stagger out of that. Movement here. Movement has been so on point for both of these players. The jump back JP just to stuff puddles. Get rid of both those swords, too. And what's going to be the follow up, though? Is that puddles getting the big hit that they've been waiting for? Again, it's kind of like game one. They're just waiting to find that chunky hit to get things going. And here we go. Yeah, that empty jump throw. RC tries to chase up for the throw. Not going to work there. Gets it on the ground instead. Ooh, double blitz. And then Ooh. finds the blitz low. Nice ace for Puddles. Forces the burst out. If you're White Beast, that's not a problem. You'll definitely get that burst back in game three. If we go down to it. Oh, a oh huge hit. Six heavy. Connects. Yeah, but able to block the 6K attempt there. And you see Puddles just creating space, right? Once I have space, has the range advantage here. Trying to set up swords to control some of the space in the mid screen. It's hard though. White Beast has been using swords efficiently. And now is at a position where one knockdown can end it. I mean, there is a burst on the side, and the burst is going to put White Beast in the corner. It's locked down, but finds a way out. Yeah, he's back in the, the corner clock. again. But here we go. Ooh. Able to hit with the final hit of that string, and the sword catches White Beast in the air. Puddles. Final game, final round now. The guillotine severing Milia's chances until this last round. And right now, Puddles, a big first hit. There's the overhead. It, it hit late enough on crouching to get the juggle. And now, Puddles is full force ready to end it. White Beast has a burst here. It's gonna be their last chance, but has to be careful. There is something about Puddles in final game, final round. There is something in the water here, Raph. They just immediately turn it up in the last game. Look at this control, just has to find the stray hit again. Locked out of the skies with that JP. Tries Chance. to summon the four, but gets caught. Doesn't get the combo off the RC, and now in a position where they can't go do it. And Puddles is in winner's finals, kicking White Beast down to the loser's side. As, again, you can never count. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for sure. Yeah, this is the first time we get to see them on screen. The ghost of Brett Ogawa. One of the best Vikings right now. Them and Mystic have been just absolute heavy players in the NA Exert game, but Zwei, not one to be deterred. And what better way to fight a samurai than a man with a katana? Here we go, pressure is on. Hyper Slice Bread seems to be in control just by what we're seeing, but Zwei not dis did have the life lead, at least for the moment there. Okay, now. Say my name. Oh. Put the J's on him. The pose, bro. 
And then just staggered pressure. I think Crazy wants to maybe avoid running into any kind of zombies, but bread, Spice Bread, patient. Oh, the cross up, hell yeah. Oh, Burst does get baited out. And you see, he tried to go for the Guts Crush there with the JP, multiple hits. Throw is tech. Nice patience there from Zwido, not to immediately hit a button. Saw the Azami, and it's gonna steal the round away. Oh my god, was that an air throw in there too? Just setting up the grab and saying, oh man. It almost went the worst way imaginable by losing that burst there, but Zwai finds a way. Goddamn. Oh, it tries to go for the very low altitude. Air dash to get the overhead. Oh my god, it's so scary, but the press! Beautiful press there from Zwai now. Able to catch low, sends out two coins. We're sitting at level three Miss Finer. The Hyper Slice Red still has a substantial life lead here and now has the pressure on. I think had might be the first term you want to use here. Oh, the burst comes out. Spread. Oh, gets tagged by the Zwai Hander. And then the cross under. Are you kidding me? In an age before block buttons. You're gonna have to do your best to get out of that. He might be dead here though. No, one more touch is all we need. Yo, Zonson hits its mark. And no, the Ooh, that was so it's scary. Fine. The tech out. That could have been Zwai's opportunity to turn things around, but Slice Bread able to control the chaos. All right, here we go. Bread, jump heavy. There's a risk there. Patience on both sides as Zwai is inching their way in. Finds the punt. The kick is good. The extra point is going to go all the way. And now Zwai setting up, but a zombie saved the day. Yo, that combo. Are you kidding me? That yeah, was off the back. Or tried to set up with another coin, but it did whiff, unfortunately. Oh, what a throw. Here we go. Level two. And Red has to be extra careful where they burst here. They're running out of good options of being able to bust out. Oh, look at that. Goes oh, it's gonna hit. Burst immediately. RC. Yeah, he went for the he went for the RC because he was expecting some kind of a parry to come out possibly. Well, you heard the or the dash to the other side. Wait, Red not out of it yet. Gets a knockdown. Run up, grab. Here we go. Red in a good position. Angle burst still available. Oh, he's running out of chances to burst. One more hit will do. Yo, the snipe! The snipe! It catches! Hold on. Hold on. Guess for game. Wow. Yo! Brand new! Got over! Ah, it's gonna work! JH! The jump heavy! <laughs> Guilty gear, baby! This is Exert. Every game. Every game needs a slowdown like that at the final hit, okay? Tekken has it. Exert has it. I'm losing my mind. Bro, I'm losing my mind. I'm not going to have any mind left after this, bro. I can't handle it. All right, round start situation. Already trying to throw out the coins to get that Miss Finer leveled up. Nice challenge on the dash forward. Gets the burst out of his Y. Oh, oh, there's only a few games in this world that do that to me. Exert is like always going to be one of them. This is why people hate me on the mic. <laughs> I love you on the Minecraft. Oh, I think. Oh, oh nice! God. We're finished there with the 2 page. Goes to PRC, full confirm. This man is rolling up to toast right now because why? is getting toasted up right now. Baked goods. This is not good for Swy as Hyper Slice Bread is just going all in. And got caught trying to press there with the frame trap. Goes for the Kabari, immediate backdash afterwards, create a little bit of that space. Oh, snipes the Azami. Gets to crouch heavy, but has to be careful here. Frank is tagged. Here we go. Chance. There we go. Keep the change. Into this wider. No burst right at the very end. Didn't want to get put into that knockdown situation. <laughs> wow. What a reaction there for the RC. You can't, because it's armor, you get the YRC on swinging into it. So nice grab there. It's Y staying alive. Gets the throw. The patient staying off. Oh, nice walk. Nice chase down. What's my name, Jobber? Jay. Just Jay. Jay for I Jobber. Love the, the nuke there at the end. <laughs> if it was plus R, our ears would explode. <laughs> plus R, the greatest sound effect of all time. I have the sound effect disc, the vinyl from, uh, oh no. from Missing Link. <laughs> <laughs> well, not missing any links here is why. Getting a big hit, Bates the Azami, level three. 
gets the slice. We are making the most out of this. Gets a, a late Swai hit, so it doesn't really do too much. But now it's just... Red has to make another big comeback if they want to take this. All right, dash out. Does get clipped by the JS. Punish! Yeah, been baits out the burst there with the Mist Finder. Scoop from the skies. Magnet hand, bro. And a one to one. We're all up in there oh, no. as Zwei has is taking it to our third game. And if this is what we're in for this whole top eight, I am I am lucky to be sitting here with you enjoying it uh front row. I would not be surprised to see it, Raph. I mean, this is some of the best of the best of North American Guilty Gear Exert here. Back that straight face, there it is, stretching the legs, sweet chin, music. Dash in, FD. All right, here we go, pressure's on. I like the dash back from Zwei, recognizing it would be a tech, a tech button. Oh man, now Zwei is really mixing in a lot more of these throws. And that's kind of the game plan against Viking, right? You get Viking to try and go for parry in a lot of situations. And then when you recognize it, that's when you start mixing the throw game that you saw trying perfect. to catch the throw tech and a perfect seven golden letters. With the wall stick too. Zwei always playing at a spot um, in the combos, in the pressure where they can always out of burst, out of burst range. So they're just really making it so hard for Slice Bread to really answer back. Although, we can answer back some big hits. Can we get that perfect back at you, the rebuttal? That's a hit, that's a start. Oh, oh but the tank no. button's gonna make it in the side swap. Yeah, just mistiming on that confirm. Does get stuck to the wall with the level three miss finder. I agree with that burst there. You don't want to give up the life lead that you have. And it's set point. So this Y flip finds a hit, it's huge. Why? One more big chunky hit from finishing the job. Goes for the, the Vine Blade. Gets the throw. And that should be it. <laughs> yep, burst super. Shutting it down. Why not going up 2-0 over Hype for Slice Bread. Moving on to winner's finals with the Johnny action. Yup. Those codes, there are plenty of you watching at home. Got 600 of you. Let's claim 14 more. Goes down. This is this is like the, the the hardest draw, but this is gonna show the caliber of player Lazy can be. Having to fight against, you know, Millie is always gonna give uh, Axel probably the worst trouble. But Chip is like right there with the speed. You can't really you can't really zone. You have to be a lot more active. And Lazy is gonna be trying to answer that as Pat's gonna go heavy on the offense. All right, so the game of Blade. Nice rents and RC. There is gonna be able to catch. <laughs> tech, yep. That's the power of it. I mean, those runs are so low, that they go so low that it's like a heavy metal. You have to do like air throw. Hold on, get it. Hold that thought. Nice DP. Catching the tech there again. Yeah, yeah. Be careful going against those techs against the Axel. It can just catch you at any range. Goes for the burst. Confident they can close up this round, but does get caught with the nothing personal kid teleport right behind you. And that's the problem right there. You see, you want to 5P because it's going to check some people, but you can't 5P because Chip could just run. So you go for 2H, and what happens? You get teleported behind, and 2H gets blessed. So it's just a lot more committal on the side of Lazy. Chip has such a good answer just to run up and punish the DP. I mean, the fastest run of the game, and now Lazy just in such a tight spot. When you're in a corner like this, you're going to have to pray. And that is going to be game number one. Prayers can't save you here. And now he, he must go. His home planet needs him. <laughs> it's just tough. Again, like, yeah, I mean, Lazy did a great job of, like, kind of respond. And you have to really guess and be aware of when a chip player is going to want to go for that back teleport. Then you add this extra layer to the mix, Gamble Blade. Gamble Blade's going to catch like the normals can actually come out, can be red set, and already lays in the corner. This is any matchup. This is the last place Axel wants to be. Some of the worst options to escape. Oh man, and able just to challenge the 2H there. Pat not holding any of this pressure at all. 2H finally hits its mark, gets the knockdown, now just has to harass. Here we go. Eats out the first, and there we go. Fly high with the bomber. No, misses the JD. There's a drill, nice challenge here. 
Bottom meter spent. This should be the round, and Lazy on the board, fighting those hits. As long as he can keep Pat the Flip pinned down, it's always possible. It's just a hard part is finding a chance to make Chip block. Counter hit combo. Very nice. Oh, what a clash there, too. Teleport is going to hit its mark, though. Scores the knockdown, sets up the Shuriken, but Lazy is undeterred. Presses on Wake Up. We call that a bar right. Pressing when you feel like it's time to press. Challenging your opponent. That's a bar. Yeah. If a song, it hits, just talk like that out there. If it works, it's a bar, right? If it doesn't, it's mashing, all right? Hell yeah. Almost There's the bomb. Working. Maybe finds big damage with teleport wire. See, my beloved. No meter, though, on Pat's side. Goes for the Ooh. sickle storm. It. Where is the sickle storm catching it? And the one of the few moves that leaves actual plus. If you do not IB, the, the cross up, even if it doesn't cross up, it always plus one. So Pat taking a chance, taking a challenge, but Lazy finds a hit, ties it up one to one. Yeah, nothing lazy about this gameplay here. Putting his heart and soul into it now. Final game between Lazy and Pat. And also Lazy, want to give a shout for that name, Solo Wing Pixie, you ace combat enjoyer. I see you. Uh, and thank you, Mecha my guy, for having my back. I know I can always believe in you. All right, Teleport, J2K, right on target. Oh, the tough part, yep. Oh, and called it out. Nice hit on the air back Teleport, but gets caught for the troubles back in the corner zone. AK Britain. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to get caught there. So now it is set point for Pat to flip. But Lazy still got those jorts on. Tax the Teleport, okay. And again, yep. This man just says, I'm in your face now. Don't try to zone me. Fine. Nice. Pino gets a hit. Counter hit confirmed too. Oh, oh tries boy. to go for the DP, but great patience there from Pat. Knowing that Lazy was going to try to get the pressure off somehow. And the leaf grab is going to beat out the 2D. Straight into the delayed overhead. And this might be it. There's the burst. Blitz. Blitz. Hold on. Loops. We looping. Baba. A. Okay, knock down. Try to go for empty jump low, too far away. There's the super, avoiding it. And, and that's a wrap. Oh, yep, 2K scooped off the ground. Pat eliminating Lazy, but what a set between those two, Raph. Absolutely. I mean, Lazy... As long as I've been playing Exert since 2014. That's 10 years this year. 10 year anniversary of Exert. But uh, it, it's always been described as like two musicians freestyling against each other, right? It's a jam session is what these matches really are. Uh, Donkey Jr., currently it's KOF, but uh, things may change. Ooh, just barely avoiding that. That was such a scary situation. But now this, uh, this is kind of a bit of a suffering matchup, right? Uh, you talked about Kumbi and Big Body being a little bit slow, having to navigate through just the swarm of Firefish, Icefish. It's going to be so difficult for Joy to do that. But again, uh, we talked about Dizzy, low health, low stun, stun modifier. If Joy can find that hit, they can definitely capitalize it. Wow, Grandpa Viper with the trade. Got to take a little ride up there, but the bubble was just... A nice little combo break, and that's like the, the beauty of some of the stuff that uh, Dizzy has is projectiles that don't go away when she gets hit, so it adds to that frustration factor. Although, Joy gets in, finds a mix up, and now it's time to blend. Phenomenal defense, though. Great backdash as well. Able to get the punish, and now Joy back up against the ropes again. Ooh, counter hit. Good turnaround. RPW's got uh, Kuhn where you want Kuhn the most. Hey, here under pressure, having to like just block as best as possible, but there's no escape and then up down too. Oh boy, things are not looking too good. First, it's available, has to find the right opening to spend it though. All right, forces the block, but an ice. Oh, that big IB of the 2D might be what's the There's yeah. the burst, last chance for joy. Sending out the heavy key ball as well. But yeah, I don't know how you're able to make this comeback. You have to find that stray hit. Oh, 2S from RTW. Just barely avoiding the, the drop down. I love that too. Like Dizzy, I want her to throw. And she's like, no, I didn't mean to. And then immediately like fixing the board or tail. Like, oh, this is cute. This is nice. 
Not bad. I, I love that a lot of Dizzy's Heaven Dizzy's animations are just her not fighting. <laughs> it's her oh, being course. distracted while her wings do all the work. Or just like being upset as things are going haywire. <laughs> Literally got a double on her shoulder. He's gonna get knocked down though, straight to the mix up. The RTW has been so good at weathering every single storm, blocking the overhead low coming from that oak joy. Oh, here we go. Balls, but not enough to help save the day. Got the firefish chasing the skies with the counter hit. And this might be exactly what we need, that knockdown. Hangs up heavy, so it's gonna be a big start. Oh, but the tech is not what Joy was hoping for, and now should be enough damage to finish the job. Match point RTW. Right into eliminate Joy right here, right now. Round start just opts to block. And what a challenge on Wake Up, not afraid of the heavy fireball at all. Oh, does it. Every time RTW is just has an answer or is trying an answer. They're just marking anything down on the Scantron and just hoping that they get the right they get a good grade and they just happen to get like an A. No matter what. They're going all C's. And it just works out. All right, here we go into the RCs. None of these mixes have worked so far. It doesn't happen again, but we do score the throw. Gets another opportunity. It gets out, though. There's the fish, but there's the heavy. Nice start. Counter hit. Yeah. Joy needs a few more of these, but oh, boy. OTG catches the tech out with the 2P, but it's not enough to get something started. There's the back throw confirmed here now from RTW. Fish is out. We're out to the back at the aquarium. Holding on to this pressure, Joy is defending, but Jump D solves the problem. One more hit will do with the meter here, and that's it. RTW forces the heavy mix, and Joy is now sad as they have been eliminated at seventh place. Dirty, and let's see how it's gonna go. See, this is big. I mean, both players, I mean, White Beast showcasing an amazing, amazing just talent all throughout today with some huge wins on the winner's side. But, you know, Pat is just one of those players who's been around for such a long time. Always can count on them to do something surprising and something cool. Another thing about this matchup, too, is the whole screen is neutral, right? From the top to the bottom. Both these characters so airborne. Able to block the burst. Beautiful punish. Gets a hard knockdown with the pin. Straight into some set play. Nice. Catches something. Might have been a teleport, but caught in the frame before it could come out. And now the Secret Garden is going to force the block. There's a big dead angle and a chance. All you need. And you saw even White Beast was aware of how dangerous that was. Burst it almost immediately, but now it's back in the blender. Same side. Yeah, unfortunate though is that... Oh no, OTG! There it is. You know, the decision making there, the, I think the one thing that kind of threw White Beast off is when we went for the chase down in the corner, we didn't stop to pick up the pin, right? So the moment that Pat was able to get the knockdown or send White Beast back into neutral, you couldn't lean on that pin to get the plus frames anymore. There we go. Thank you for the subscription, Dia Habiki. Such appreciated here. And hold oh, on to the, the push. Push. That's the other side. JD hits its mark, gets the pick up on the tumble as well. He's light though, popped out. Lucky there for White Beast. Back in the corner you go. Tag low. Now it's time to get blended. Left side catches a hit. There's a burst here, but meter for Pat to flip. Oh, goes the off the wall. Tries to go for the blitz to take away the burst. And now it's chip territory. White burst, White, Be White Beast, not having uh, any FD, not using FD, pays the price. White Burst, I mean White Wild Assault. God help us. <laughs> no, Sorry, that's not in this game. <laughs> Thankfully. We're safe, we're safe. Thankfully. But we have Blitz, which is, you know, might as well be similar. Here we go. Pat on the verge of making it into top four. All right, take it to the skies. A little bit of a drop situation there, but that's all right. Back to neutral. Pat still able to force White Beast into defense. Burst finally comes out. 
And Dilbo, everything's just okay. No problem. And Pat with the big lead. Doesn't even go for the mix, the, the, the cross up hit. Just goes for the empty low because White Beast is, was going to block correctly. But Pat on top of it. Oh, Great first Pat. I like that. No and chances. No Where chances, is Robert. he, right? You burst and then he's immediately teleporting to make sure that you don't have like any sense of how to control the screen, any sense of of rhythm, of momentum. It's dizzying. Yes, it. Chip plays at a pace, can force you to play at a pace that you can be uncomfortable at, and even then he can turn it up. But Pat just happy to take things up to 11. White Beast though with the lead here gets low. Big chance for a round. I mean, Chip is still one of those characters with low life, so Milia's damage can look much stronger in compar you know, comparison to other, other matchups. And that goes both ways, Raph, right? Milia also with incredibly low life. Maybe each of Chip's hits are a lot more brutal. We're seeing that in full effect right now. Cool eyes. There's the low burst available. Last chance for White Beast. Gets to the corner. The drill. The hit. The nice oh. dead angle. On the 6k attempt and baits out the burst, forcing the whip. It wasn't even much of a bait, it just worked out. The 6, 6k pushing far enough, and then the, the disc shrunk the hitbox. White Beast looks another day. Yo, what a run forward! That was godlike. Not even a back dash, just so fast runs under Milia. Tries to go for the call out with that blitz. That was ballsy. Again, all this air movement there. Just trying to find that stray hit. And Pat locking down the pin. That is so important. You cannot allow Milia to have that, but is able to pick it up. That means the offense is more potent now and can score this hard knockdown from the air. But delays it! The pin was not effective. The throw is big. This next switch is going to do it. There's the kunai. There's a dead angle. Chance. More chance. White Beast has to hit this mix up to make it work. Well, the blitz with the blitz back! Uh oh. What do you got? Pin. Pressure's on. Hits the, the lance. And the spin. spin. Staying alive again by the skin of his teeth. White Beast in beast mode right now. Best of uncle coming through here. This is the White Beast we saw on the winner's side taking down Yasagi. And others just absolutely monstrous. Let's, rock. Let's see, Pat, can you close this out? There's the early burst. That's for the momentum here. Oh, the momentum is so key in this matchup. It's yucky. It's a little bit of damage, but as long as White Beast isn't knocked down or in the corner, it's no problem, but here we go. You see White Beast just taking to the skies a lot, able to actually get the whip on the DP. Full punish, too. Look at the damage on that. If you get that close slash starter, it can be majestic. Big clash, that's not too uncommon, but White Beast ready for it. Catches a whiff on the 2D. Next hit from this is going to finish the job, and now White Beast poised in such a good position here. I love the rising JP as well, just to make sure you can catch any kind of teleport. Sitting on a lot of meter, and still has burst. I mean, this round is still looking pretty good for White Beast. Oh, oh again! Pat, that's oh, wow. two times in a row we've gone for a blitz while we have advantage, and two times that it has failed. Round start teleport catches the, the one five D we see from White Beast. And that's Blanco one round away from making it to top four, but Pat on full offense. Attempting to cook up a perfect tier, mixing up White Beast right now in a pot like gumbo. Stanky leg into the kunai, seven golden letters. All right, everyone gets one. But now can pat the flip, finish it back. Again, we're down to a last game, last round in top eight. Oh, nice jump heavy. Realizing that it was not gonna be able to get the 2D, tries to go for the pin, doesn't work out. But at least White has to pin back. 6P, oh, no. that's one button that you are not 6P in, my friend. Yeah, I know that JD planting you in a counter hit tumble state. It's so strong for Chip. Able to jump out of the air grab, but there's the burst immediately. Okay, hit the YRC. There's the close hash pressure. Oh, what a jump back. Oh, what a hit with the pin. Runs oh, right out of the disc. Able to actually convert that into the hard knockdown. Has disc open again. Tons of meter available here for White Beast, too. 
Doesn't get the heavy disc though. Misses the disc. Gets the air throw. Run up. Disc. Gets the low. One more disc. Goes low again. Nice block from Pat. Down to the wire. Blocking for his life right now. Gets That's hit it. by the overhead. No burst to save you. And White Beast does it. Eliminating Pat in top eight losers. No disc. No problem. Hell of a set, y'all. Thank you guys. Blowing it up. It was so fun. And we are still not out of out of here. As we're getting the slice bread answer against the RTW Dizzy. Maybe just appreciates the movement that Answer has in this matchup, right? Having movement is, is a very valuable tool against Dizzy. And Biken is a little bit more, I mean, she's not necessarily slow, right? But definitely doesn't have the momentum and the speed of Answer. We'll see what plays out. And good answer, like, had the, uh, to a lot of the pressure, just going for the, the, the counter to kind of blow that up. It's going to have to make RTW be more prepared for that situation. But the tent to just force the fish. There's the block. The fadeaway mix up. And great uh, hits to get the knockdown. Beautiful just box, but not going to save you there with the Izuna drop. You know, one of the really interesting things about how Exert has evolved is that Exert used to really just be, you played your one character. And that how is how it is for most of, most players in this game. But, you know, 10 years in, people have really picked up secondaries, even a third character that is very viable in bracket like we're seeing right now. Well, for sure. I mean, in answer to one of the characters that had developed kind of kind of a little late than anyone else, but players like, you know, Hypersized Bread, Hyper Bread bringing them out, you know, Thumbtack, Mecha the Diver, uh, Faulty Defense, a lot of really good ones that bring their own flavor to it. That's a fun character to be. Layers of player expression, which I love to see show up, but uh, RDW is expressing their distaste and yeah. taking that round as a remember that Dizzy is a beast, especially when you got your corner. Answer with no answer for that one. Yeah, absolutely not, but there we go. You allowing two seals to put yourself in the corner. I don't think that is exactly what uh, Slice Bread was expecting, but it's what they're going to have to deal with now. RTW is trying to set out different options to cover cover those dashes in on the seals, but it's just not working out. First is going to whiff, but beautiful blitz. Gets the full confirm off of it, too. Hit nice counter, RC2. Smart option again. Wants to get out of the Oki and just enforce their game. There's the scrolls. Yeah, the scrolls. What do they say? Get out of there. Zooming around. Forcing the block. There's the RC. I like that. Oh. Yeah, forcing the block. Uh, I like how the announcer is like, it's not over yet when it's over. Yeah, that is like, buddy, read the room. I see a question. Uh, does does answer hate cobbling this character? Uh, like all, all all the female characters in the game, answer has it's a little it's a little wonky. You can do it, but it's a little wonky. Now we go straight into the rematch. No delays here. Don't need to think about it. We're going right on in. Oh, already there's a big counter hit. Off to the mines you go. Scrolls out and it's test. You think you're gonna block? No. Hope this is gonna drop. Do it again. So cool, bro. Do it again. Hits. Mm. Look at the pose he hits on that too. Number three. One more time. Oh, my YRC versus your YRC. RTW does come out on top there, able to score the knockdown. Puts themselves into the corner off the throw. This is dangerous. Gets hit with the counter hit, and there you go, another round down. That's 100% the kind of answer round you want. You need your opponent in the corner. Look at he split. Set up the scrolls. Read them to your opponent and just threaten. Threaten this Azuna drops. Spin him into the corner here. Now we're going to see. RTW just waiting it out patiently. Gets out with the back dash. Yeah, we scored a hit on it, but we knew, you know, we weren't going to get much off of it. So just he was patient. Didn't overextend. Smart stuff there from Slice Bread. But now they're stuck in the, up against the ropes once again. Goes for the substitution. Jutsu. Trying to find a way out. There it is again. <laughs> oh, what a... Just a hit. RTW hit smash in that like button. Trying to get out of this corner here, but still in a tough spot. Oh, 2S hitting its mark. A little too far away to get a proper conversion, but we got some stray hits in and some time to set up the fish. There's the throw. Uh, Fire spike. Oh, RTW now at set point. Maybe try to reversal there, hard to say. It's tagged immediately, and now, yeah. 
Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Grabbing the air, the tech out of the air with the Azuna drop. That was beautiful. Right, and this is this is where uh, Slice played one last time, fighting Dizzy in the corner. There's the burst though. They've turned the corner themselves, and this is RTW's now. Their time to shine. Oh, counter doesn't work. Gets thrown though. Not the worst thing imaginable, but still kind of tricky. Yo, yo, let's go. Throw tech. Getting out of the corner from that throw is definitely huge here for Slice Bread. Catches okay. the tech forward. Should be able to kill here. Burst super. There we go. Even the enhancer knows. Hell yeah. They know what's up. Check out Paul Allen's card. Man, man, man. Again, we would... It wouldn't be at this top eight if we aren't getting matches one to one going to a final game. I mean, as we're, yeah, we're, these, we're, we're, I was say these really have been neck and neck. Absolutely wild. Only one match so far hasn't gone to final game. RC goes for the super jump just to land on that high seal. The dash in, coming from the skies, but he's gonna get caught here by the icicle. Man, an RTW really just slowing things down, Rap. Yeah, you could have seen a Kiki to Forza, which is nice. It's all on sliced bread to kind of navigate this. And even though you're in the corner, right? RTW can find a way out. The clone comes out, off the business card. The damage is the differentiator. Great for sliced bread, mixing it up, but RTW with good defense, great mash, great hit. Yeah, once again, sitting at set point here. Hyper Slice Bread on the back foot. All right, backing up, sending out the bubble. Just keep that pressure going. Ooh, nice. Run up, use the scroll beat, right? Took the back to hitbox on that dash. Oh, too far away for that scroll, but we're in there. We're zooming. Yeah, but not overextending with them, too, which is so important, right? Willing to land on a scroll and immediately go straight to the ground. Catches in the air, gets the hard knockdown. Ooh, 6P. Really good call out. Black Total's pretty even. The side swap into the throw, knowing that we're not going for a combo. Just get a grab. Oh, the gold burst! What a big read and gets the throw anyway. I'm about to say RTW was good for calling that out, but Bread making the most of it. Immediately taking up to the seal. Huge confirm. Slice Bread is sitting on a lot of meter here. Absolutely still in this. Has access to the Let's dead go. angle, but does get caught on the other side. Not dead yet. And then the firefish, the blast comes out. RTW 2 to 1, eliminating Brett at fifth place. RTW making top four. The direct contribution if you feel that generous. All right, y'all. Who y'all got? We got best of th uh, first to three between Puddles, Randall Thaw, and Why Not Johnny. Why Not has been, you know, crushing the competition. But, I mean, this is Puddles talking about. Ramblethal just needs that one knockdown to take Johnny to task. But, you know Johnny gets a grab, gets anything, and the party starts right now. The punt is good. Sign this man up for the NFL, my tongue. It's going to be really interesting because Puddles, and Puddles has been playing incredibly well, but every single one of his matches that we've seen has been scary. You know what I mean? They've gone down to the wire, down to him possibly losing from like a one hit or two hit scenario here. So we really have to keep things locked up if we want to beat Why Not here. All right, so YRC gets a casual walk up into the throw. Tries to go for the overhead, nice block, but still has to get out of this. All right, that angle's one way. A little bit of resources, but now what do you do here? Puddles, you have to approach. And this is Johnny with four coins, though. You can spare some change to make it the finish happen here. Running out of options. Oh, nice double jump there. The air jump just to avoid the arc of the sword. Smart stuff from Zwei, but now you're in the corner. Not going to be dead quite here. You get one more mix. Right, still a burst available, though. Zwei can't afford to use it if they need it. Oh, the hit, the tag. One more touch. And it's just a far slash after all that. Just finding the gap. Great eyes there from Zwei. Zwei on the prize, man. 
That's why I'm the prize. Try to go for that 5 age. Nice escape there from Puddles. Immediate burst. This time, Zwei does not want to get put in the mix up situation. Goes for the YRZ dash forward for the throw. Level 3 Mist Finder. Gotta watch out for the mix up. This man flashing those Mist Finders. Showing you the, the path. why you can't even hold forward an inch. Puddles makes the escape and the sword coverage. Didn't get sniped on the way out. Yeah, gets the scoop in the skies on top of it. Woo! Beautiful cross up with the re jump. Okay. Tall lad combos. Total great for it. Still has to be scared though. There is a big miss fighter waiting on deck. Counter though, good chance. Should yeah, I think that's dead. No! Oh no, I lied. Yeah, we missed the hit there. Dead angle finally comes out. Why's not out of it yet? Does get slapped away a little bit. Has to FD literally everything. This can't die. He has no health yet, but he's just still alive with a burst, with a burst super. Double the Vine Blade, and that's gonna be the rep games. Why not? Never say never. This is RC, such a strong tool. Like you just have to hold that when he's sitting on that meter. You're just like, oh crap, there's one of them, I'm fine, and then the second one comes down and it's just like, damn, lightning does strike twice. <laughs> Robbery chat, yeah, Johnny's a pirate, that's what he does. <laughs> I love that they gave that to him as a super as well, so he actually does steal from you, it's, it's so perfect. <laughs> the treasure hunt, we haven't seen one yet. Hasn't really needed to go for a treasure hunt, right? Has had plenty of points. Yeah, he's kept his treasure to himself, and the uh, photos right now is in a tough spot again. Trying to weather the storm, find a chance out, at least to set up the sword, but every button almost any airs for Johnny. You see that magic that happens. There's the dust. Fly away. Although, wait a minute. Good position now for Puddles. That's why with the beautiful press there on the 5k, again, finding the gap. All right, again, trying to go for that 6k. Just that forward moving normal. Going to get the punish here. 5k blocks the slide. And now you're in the corner. Hard knockdown. Goes for ZYRC. Every one of those dash boards you see is so terrifying, right? Because he, yep, there it is. He can just go for another dash into the throw, and that is a full confirm. Burst at the end to make sure that this Y doesn't connect to the hard knockdown. Oh, is it a safe jump? Yes, it is. Able to block, but doesn't get a punish. Not the easiest super in the world to punish. Portals is getting a hit, getting some momentum. Has the bar putting pressure on with the sword setup. There's a burst on the yeah, app. About to say, oh, as soon no. as I say the word, and there's the kick. Extra point is good. Not enough with the no level two. With the side swap, the ship is coming out. Yeah, and there Please. it is with the throw. I mean, there, there's no more chip in this tournament, right? So there's no chips anywhere. As, You're right. Uh, Swy, two up. Yeah, and just like this, Puddles, uh, there's a tall mountain to climb now, right? Has to make a reverse 3-0 against a player the caliber of Zwynot. Heaven or hell. Duel. 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 We still haven't seen Zwy go for a, uh, go for a insta-kill either. You know, he's known to have a little bit of bad manners sometimes. <laughs> he can't give you the card online, so it's not the same. He can send you a JPEG of it. He can send you a picture as soon as it hits while you're in the animation. He probably has it queued up right now. Oh, wait. Queued up that burst, though. And Puddles is going to take advantage of it. Oh, tries to go in for that overhead. Not going to quite work. Still, Zwy tries to go for the dead angle. Not going to work. Puddles was too far away. Scores the command grab. Okay. Good chance here. Plays our cards right. There's not a lot of meter here, so let's be careful that Zwy doesn't make you escape. And that's going to do it. Very nice. Second round situation immediately sends out the coin. Level one misfire there in the air. If we throw that knockdown, little oh, pressure. Why feeling good about it? No problems here. Even gets the, the juggle and the tumble. 
sitting at level three. And there it is, wall splat. Not gonna die. Oh, that was beautiful. RC again into... So those YRCs into buttons that you were seeing there, that's because every other time Zwei went for dash forward YRC, immediately went into throw. So it was just trying to catch puddles with something to press. Now match point. One away. Zwei is almost in grand finals. Winner's side here as puddles in the corner already. Gets the magnet hands. Johnny could just grab whatever and it works. And tough spot for puddles is there just getting ice all the way through. As well as you miss fighter as well. So that's going to hurt back in that. Oh, catch the backdash though, gets st stuck to the wall. Baiting out the tech with the JD. Puddles not quite out of it yet, but doesn't have a lot of mirror to work with. Zwei has burst on deck to get out of some of this pressure in the corner. Oh, Daru gets blocked in a tough spot. There's the blitz. Last chance, no more meter, just a burst here for Puddles. That's the last, ooh, even the burst connects, but Zwei just waiting. Anything will do for them is just Puddles fishing for anything. A hit, a knockdown. So scary though, back is up against the ropes. There's the trade, no pick up though from Zwei. Puddles once again, by the grace of God, gets a chance to live. But this one good kick serves another. Oh. Still alive with barely any help, but a throw, a far slash, a missed fighter counter hit is gonna do it, and why not? So why, why, why shouldn't I be in grand finals? Why not indeed? Damn. Next Johnny. weekend. Heaven or hell. All right, here we go. Final two out of three. RTW versus White Beast. So this is again, RTW's been being a bully, like through and through. So I think White Beast has just kind of been elevated and showcasing a very, very high level, which I know they can achieve. But it's nice to see that being put into practice. But I mean, one good thing about this matchup for Dizzy is being able to lock down Melia, right? Melia's not moving, she's not really a threat. And that's exactly what we're seeing here right now. Jump dust is so funny. Just seeing that button from Dizzy just being a wall. Anybody, like, you want to jump out against her, but it's just like two hits on counter hit just sends you flying. You're just like, that's a, that's an eye roller button right there. And constantly doing it by like ID backwards whenever RTW feels like you're gonna try to escape from the corner, right? It's been such an effective button all afternoon. RTW forcing the burst out, not missing, not missing a step, but try to get cute with it. Doesn't quite work, but is happy to be not knocked down. It's like an end game against Miller. Don't get hard knocked down. Right now we're gonna try to score that knockdown here in the corner. One last hit is all we need able to actually just straight up negate the pin altogether. Yeah, it's tough. Dizzy and RTW, not a player that's uh, willing to get pinned down. Has an answer and has shown that throughout all their matches. Has really good uh, matchup awareness and always going to be contesting things whenever possible and it just works up to good effect. Here we go. Sends out the Firefish again. White Beast trying to take to the skies, but it feels like they're just always blocking. No matter where they are in screen, and you see this movement here from RTW utilizing the multiple air dashes from Dizzy to dizzying effect. Absolutely, and again, White Beast just no room to maneuver. Again, Millia just finding herself just in a rock in a hard place. Taking down a Bush Gardens, and there's just nothing you can do about it. You got dragged along by your friends. You're stuck out there in the sun. <laughs> You're just hoping you can go home and chill, but no dice. It's not even the beer and wine fest. So here we go. Scooped out of the skies. White Beast, one round away from being eliminated, has really not gotten to establish any kind of offense so far in this set wrap. Yeah, it's just, just so much crap. It's literally just that. There's just crap everywhere. RTW knows it. It's just like... No matter what you do trying to approach me, you're not going to have a fun time of it. Any of this is going to lead to massive damage. One throw, one hit, RTW takes a set. Yeah, White Beast has to play perfect out of their mind right now. This is, might be where their run ends. One touch is all that is needed. Has to FD everything. The last pin, the last hope, the last dream, the last overhead. Doesn't even connect with the 6P does. And now White Dream. White, white, the white dream is White Beast's last uh, opportunity here. 
Oh, goes for the fastball into the throw. Sets up the disc, but first comes out. Oh, setting up the finish. Two blocks and Mr. President get down. Savoring this taste of what is yet to come. And if you want to see more excerpt action, make sure you check out the discords that are available. You follow Pat the Flip for the weekly update of excerpt happenings throughout the week. And to participate in as many tournaments as you can and able because it is always a good time in Exerd Town. Population U. <laughs> oh, but here we go. Nice pick up there from RTW. This is another, uh, not exactly the same vein as Milia, so to speak. But again, with the way that Dizzy is just able to keep so many different options on the screen, constantly forcing you to block, it doesn't give Ram a lot of comfortable space to send out the swords, you know? Yeah, exactly. And then, of and course, it, the fish being able to just block the sword. <laughs> yeah, and if you set time to set time to swords, that gives Dizzy time to just put stuff out there, right? And her downtime is so much less than Ramaphon, because that sword ain't coming back until she brings it back, right? So that just means that Puddles is just having to suffer in silence. And suffer in this corner on top of that. But able to get a nice back throw. Oh, backdash into back throw of his own. JD hits its mark, gets a full confirm off of it. Beautiful. Okay. Well, was, with the fight in them, they got that. Cat in them, although Ray gets a reset. And now that reset gives him the corner, too. So Puddles with no way of getting out outside of a, a, a lucky blitz. Towards the knockdown here with the ice spike. Yeah, and it's looking less and less like that's likely, Raph. I'll just meter two. I see. Command grab comes out. Nice. Can't block those. RTW with resources for a dead angle or some ice spike YRCs. Wants to burst so they don't have to use a dead angle. Instead, YRCs forward. Just to skip the nooch. Still, though, it's one last YRC left. Gets oh. the air throw. This is scary. Just a run up throw again, and that's going to be. No! The burst came back just in time. Puddles was mashing on it. And then, but doesn't matter. Look at that distance on that jump, by the way. That fadeaway hit. Catching puddles, trying to inch their way forward. RTW answers back with game one. Diabolical stuff, all right? Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Both these players are just so good. I am just at, in awe of just their composure and how good they are at just brawling. Some of the best in the business here right now. I mean, I think it's undeniable that RTW is the North American Dizzy. All right. Just getting tagged a lot, though. Puddles just keeping things away, staying safe, and it's working out. At least for some minor damage, but still has to find a way to get that big combo in. So that way they can turn the tides into life later. Absolutely. Let's start. Back throw. Into the overhead. All right, things are looking up Puddles a little bit here. Burst comes out from RTW, though, recognizing the danger of the situation when you see how much meter Puddles has. All right, with the resources here, it should be huge damage. And uh, one of these characters, Puddles can be really good at just uh, crushing the uh, guts. Just means it's really one hit anyway, so it's not too bad. Nice. Gets a throw back at RTW. He's trying to maybe run up grab themselves. Puddles gets around and uh, is on the board with a little something. Let's see if we can put a game on the board here to try and tie things up. All right, he's going to be three out of five, so a bit of an extended set. There's the throw. Okay. Double dash mix-ups. Getting that Mario Kart action here. Taking him to the baby park. Ooh, counter hit. Let's go. Yeah, it calls back the sword as well, right? Had time off that RC. It's so cool how Ramapho is like a Titan character with her strings in this game. It's so unique that they have her like that. You see like the little gaps in those strings lead to such big things like that. Yeah, the philosophy that they had in Exer here. Uh oh. RTW getting the pickup should be enough to kill. Yep, there it is with the ice spike. Uh, yeah, the philosophy of 
designing characters kind of based off of other genres of games is a really cool thing that Exer did, right? Of course, Elf out with, uh, with shooters. Um, you have Ram, of course, with 3D fighters. Jacko with power defense. Mm -hmm. But Dizzy's been a staple of the Guilty Gear series, and she is just locking it down, just putting stuff out there. She's turning into a schmuck where you just try to navigate and not get hit by any of the bullets, and it's so hard. Oh my god, the low there, comboing immediately into the ice spike had enough to get the pick up. Brother. <laughs> Brother. That mid screen confirm RTW calm down, all right? Someone <laughs> check RTW's notes. I'm scared. I mean, he is absolutely cooking so far today. And who was the one that sent him to losers again? I gotta check the bracket. How did he even get put in losers? <laughs> Puddles. Puddles was the one that he was uh, held down. Oh my god, it's not looking anything like that now. You're right, it was 2-1. It was a close match. That's right, it went to like the final hit. Now, uh, Puddles needs to turn this around. Already in game three, it's looking dire. RTW with a massive lead. Not even a chance to burst here. Puddles probably not even going to want to at this point. If you hear a, a certain person in my house yelling about football, I apologize. No, they're yelling about Guilty Gear. They're hyped Heck for Guilty yeah. Gear. <laughs> <laughs> they're watching from the other room. Let's go. Got TNS on on the big screen. <laughs> Oh, got air throw. With the shield fish, there's, hot, there's so little you can do. I'm trying to swing in, and now puddles. That's potentially their last burst here. Especially when you're in the air, right? In the air, Dizzy's just standing on the shield fish. It really is just like... It, it's a zero-sum game. There's the throw. Goes ahead, sets up another ice spike. Tech, okay. Puddles really needed that to get some space. But the blitz doesn't matter and gets thrown for their troubles. One more mix, finds a grab. What can you do with it though? Wake up oh. super throws it out. That ain't real. Hold that. Put that Catch away. Catch back dash there on top of it. Very nice. We got both swords on deck. This is exactly what Puddles needs. Cannot allow RTW to escape. That burst is available. It's danger time! It's oh. Double super put the window into your soul. Dizzy said, reflect on your decisions. Think about what time you did. we got like the danger time of all time. Not like the, you know, that, that's one for the books. All right, grand finals, winner's side. Why not Johnny and RTW Raven Warrior didn't even battle it out here. The first time you two face off at TNS. And already, why blocking the first, getting the punish, and trying to make this quick, you got places to be. Yeah, exactly. Got to go open up his local. So he's trying to speed run this. Gets the dizzy in the first round. A absolute dominating performance there from Why not? And you know what, chat? Unpopular opinion. I love Danger Time. I think it's a good mechanic. <laughs> it's a really funny mechanic. It's funny. It makes me smile, and that's what matters, right? <laughs> so here we go. Why it has RTD cornered up at the 6P. Yeah, that's such a good poke. Good way, especially a lot of uh, unless it's why uses 2s consistently, is or is gonna get a hit out of like the far slash far heavies. Nice, that should be the round for RTW. Yeah, answering back in a big way, just trading rounds back and forth. It's gonna be a bit of a tug of war here until we get some really strong adaptation from one of these players. Okay, good start here from RTW. Again, get those knockdowns, and then Johnny has to has to deal with it like everybody else. Ooh. Oh, beautiful Blitz, but Blitz is right back. We got the wars going on. Why not feeling the pressure, feeling the heat to let that burst rip. Right, now it's back in the corner again. Oh, no good 6P there, actually. Sly finding a perfect spot, but ooh. <laughs> we keep trying to dash on in, but RTW just preemptively sticking out buttons. Oh, doesn't get the OTG. Still needs a hit here. There's a slow arcing ice little uh little thingy just flies through that was cute how this like hits so late and it's like oh oh yeah you're right my bad sure <laughs> but there it is game number one is gonna go to rtw has to reset the bracket here oh round start immediate 2h there for fly 
right? That's why entering back with with their own two P is just saying, all right, if you want to challenge all the time, I can I can do that right back at you. There's gonna be, there's gonna be zero respect from either player at the end of this. And that's why just a huge round to one. It's not over yet. Nev goes for the low. Just be this. Get that out. Oh, yeah, there it is. The stun. Penny for your Keep thoughts. <laughs> Just All like right. that, immediate Woo! level three Miz Fighters. Do not blame RGW for bursting right away. Utilizing the momentum of the 6K, the forward movement to get right past the fire pillar. So smart from Zwei. A lot of preemptive six Ps now. RGW being a little too predictable with them. Zwei either getting a punish on them or with punish here. And now, jump it. Do I feel an extra comfy here. This looks like their game to lose as that Miz Fighter is going to be a perfect and tie things up one to one. That's why it's just like, hold on, hold on. I got I got places to be. I can't be taking this to a reset. I can't be going to three twos. Yeah, no, it cannot allow RTW to start gaining some momentum. Needs to shut it down right now. Let's There we go. JH is gonna hit its mark. Real, real Azuka enjoyers in chat right now, so I know you all are the real ones. Where are the Overture enjoyers at, huh? You'll get your two Overture, it's on Steam right now. Kizzy K's probably streaming something else right now, so. <laughs> Huge pick up here from Zwei. He's still sitting on a hundred meter. No escape. Yeah, you thought, you thought you could escape, said, oh, he accidentally dashed the wrong way. Let me just get out now. Miss Viner either hitting from that far for the double, yeah, Zwei is like, hold on, nope. This is back to the roots. It took a, a game to warm up, but RTW, no slouch. Needs to get that offense going, and if they can keep it consistent, they'll make it happen, Captain. Oh, and grabbing the misstep in the air. For the, we landed, but we weren't able to actually block the burst. That's unfortunate there for RTW. But again, chasing up to the skies. Ah! Oh! Hold on. Put you on the wall like a picture. Take a good look. This could be your last. There's the Divine Blade. A couple wire seats. Nice XP. Gets a challenge. Still, though, level ups for us. Why? Just needs this anti air. And that oh, burst. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. You avoided the Mist Finder. Guess what? Scoop. And that's going to be the round right here. Should be. Yep. Gets the wall splat into the 5G. Mashing on those buttons. Trying to crush the guts. And Zwei is now one game away from ending this tournament. Just like, that's, that's the, you're not even worth my time SWAT. Just like, get, just get out. I'm done with you. <laughs> he was knocking on the door there. <laughs> open up! Jellyfish Pirates, open up! All right, two to one. Zwei, one game away from one to run his locals. But RTW can make the locals have to, have to, to sour their day. Let's see if they can spoil a little bit of it. Let's play the spoiler. Air throw tossing right back in. Was a little unsure about throwing the coin, right? So threw it too late. Distance was a factor there on top of that. Oh my gosh, these dashes. Avoiding the fire pillars, avoiding the ice spikes. There is no space here safe for RTW. Yeah, and utilizing the fish also just to straight Gatling into the far slash. Oh. Lucky. Still in there, but... What do you do here? Ice bike. One touch is going to be scary. And there it is. Got the 2K 2D hitting its mark. Now we are at tournament point here for Zwei, not RTW. Last opportunity here, Raph. Absolutely. Big last chance for RTW, but just cannot contain Zwei anymore. Zwei's playing fast and loose. And he will suffer before it. Even with the damage coming out, RTW's getting something going. Fast respect, there's meter here for Zwei. Towards the throw. Gets the pick up there with the fireball. It's not over yet. One more touch goes for the empty low. Zwei, feeling the pressure. Dead angles out. And a 6P catch. And RTW not saying it's over yet, but still a long way to go. Johnny picks up his change back. He's pulled coins again. Level 2 Miss Finder ready to go, but RTW with the challenge. 
Yes, starting to build some of that momentum now. Throw on top of that. That's it. Oh, fish. Wow. See, we'll... Nice Ooh. tech goes Why enough of your throw loops. Although, nice fade away. The burst punish. Oh, the Not yet, though. The tech forward. The game's away a chance. That's crazy. Sitting at level two miss now. Has the opportunity. Look at this, we still have plenty of meter, right? If we score that hit, and we do, sends out two coins. We're sitting at level three. Miss Fighter could steal this away. It's not over yet. Oh, what a goal burst. Play a wire seat, gonna go for the big beam. The gamma ray. Big chip damage could be a thing. What the, what? The fish, the fish again, Mr. President. <laughs> And RZW staying alive, taking it to game three in this grand finals. Remember, a big thing for those that don't understand, Dizzy's fish on summon can take a hit. And if they get hit, it doesn't hit Dizzy. So Miss Fighter is a single hit. It hits the fish. The fish is dead. Dizzy's free to move. She's not a block stun at all. And was exactly. able to move forward. The fish are the true shield that protects the queen. All right, nice wake up of RA there. Just pressing normals, not gonna hold on to that fake pressure. RGW is lead. They're trying to force this reset. They're trying to tell us why. Vocals can wait. I'm your opponent right now. Worry about me first. Look at this. You can tell when RGW is feeling themselves riding this momentum and now a reset point. That's why return this back. Can you figure out the way? Right now he's just running into six P's as RTW is just throwing them out. And it's working so well. Oh, we might be seeing it. Hold up. Level three miss finder in the corner. RTW still has burst available and a lot of meter. Oh nice, nice smash. Beautiful. And gets out the corner. Oh, the delay blitz doesn't work out. Nice and wide away to it out. The fish takes the hit. Wastes the Miss Fighter. And look at this 100 meter. RTW That's gets it. the counter hit, and we have a reset. Ladies and gentlemen, the first set is done. RTW drags Zwei to the loser's bracket. Zwei was trying to be out the door, put on his cap, and head out. But Zwei uh, grabbed them by the, the, the coattails on the jacket and said, nah, -uh. <laughs> you ain't going anywhere. I'm not finished with you. And now here we go. The final, final set between these two. Johnny versus Dizzy. Unfazed. She's 6P again. Why not? What is a pirate to a queen? She left a jellyfish pirate for a... Uh, Bigger things and look at her go. Right, on deck now. Lightweight. Heck now. Making these confirms really awkward. And Zwei paying the price for uh, dropping little things here and there. Fish comes out, takes the hit. But Zwei follows it up. What? Oh, scrambly situation there. Zwei immediately, though, just rushes right on in. Recognizes that either a fire pillar or an ice pillar is coming. Oh no, the light! She's so light, it doesn't work out. Zwei keeps dropping the combos because her weight class just screws it up. And that's one of the things about Johnny. Johnny may be the best character in the game, but you have to remember, he's not easy to play. He is a hard character, and he's got so many different character-specific routes, right, that you have to learn, and that's what makes him so difficult. Oh, there's the empty low. Blitz too, but doesn't help you at all. You're still gonna be faced, and then the burst gets blocked. Zwei running out of options, running out of time. You see the power of Dizzy. She could be away from the Blitz Shield, where she won't get catched by the parry. So yeah, you block a project out, but there's an, like, another three coming out after. Ooh. Big whiff. Oh, Why what a hasn't grab. really? That's the thing. Zwei has yet to make like a big comeback like this, right? From having so much life down. And it's, it's hard. It's hard against a character like Dizzy, especially when 
whenever we do turn things around late in the set when we're low and Dizzy has a lot of life, RTW is still sitting on resources. Absolutely. It's never one to be without. You know, and it's RT, it's Zwei trying to F FD, doing a lot of YRCs to kind of reset positioning and all that, but RTW making the most. Round start 6P gets the knockdown. Already, Zwei's in the corner. Yeah, he's level 2 wrist finder, but when do you get a chance to swing? Look at that, the double air dash there, just trying to clip you with that JS. Oh, 6P again. It has just been <laughs> such a strong answer against Johnny and Zwei. Not really having much to answer it with. Finds a blitz, finds a knockdown. Again? <laughs> again, again, every time. Yeah, because recognizing that uh, Zwei wants to steal the turn back over and over, right? So Zwei is either going to go for a dash in or go for a 6k to close the gap. Here we go, wire he dash forward into the throw, full confirm, level 3 mist is on deck. Locked and loaded. Fade away, trying to avoid the 6p, get the air throw instead. Meter on the side of RTW though, the level 3 mist finder on deck for Zwei. Nice. Oh my Good god. Confirm here, that's wall. Oh, in dust we trust. Dust loops. <laughs> nice bait of the dead angle, couldn't get a punish. The second time though, let's go. One good uh, dead angle punish is worth another. Again, 6P round start. There was a clash on the far slash, the coin whiffs. That's why he really needs to find an answer to that button, or else it's Cortis, or else he's finished. <laughs> I better keep my butt over here. There's the dash and a little bit of a stall just to get the throw. Nice. Punishes the 6P with the coin. Getting the full juggle here. Couldn't get anything more from its happening, but uh oh. Yeah, that dash in though is actually gonna hit Zwei trying to go for the 6K again. Zwei is starting to get blown up on some of these 6Ks, and that full screen blitz is gonna do nothing for you here, RTW dominating performance in that round. Now, one round away from getting a 2-0 lead. Trying to move it. Having to do a lot of 6Ks, but even then, the 6K list is RTW just putting themselves in like a prime positioning. Finds the hit. There is no burst here. There's Blitz. Gets the trade, but gets knocked down anyway. Another so trade into it. Help! <laughs> Help! Hit. Help! Oh my god, he's dead. Help! One more. One more. Yeah, there we go. RTW 2-0 lead here against Y. We found the answer for Johnny, and it's just random BS go. Fish, bubbles, ice. Uh, Fight fire with fire. <laughs> spikes, whatever. You get this man. Oh, my. Put this man down. Let's rock. All right, 6K, though. Switch in music. Get those stretches in. And immediately hits with the low. <laughs> Because like, even dead angle won't help in situations. The fish eat the dead angle. It's it's one of those kind of like you're you're getting got no matter how you look at it, and it's just kind of how Dizzy just operates in all of her projectiles. You have to beat Dizzy in neutral, right? Oh my god! The mirrors activated. RTW hadn't used that at all against Y and finally busts it out and looking to get to match point. Turn to a point. Pulling all the streets out of the hat. The Zwei not going to take a lion down here. Gets the knockdown with the Zwei under. Right into the low. Going to be able to close out the round, stealing it away. Yeah, that mirror is scary. It is a reversal. You can throw it out of it. It's just very fast, but uh, it's just striking vulnerable. Here we go. Nice. It's still overhead. Get the pressure. It's not a very good uh, wake up super. <laughs> but it's there. But it's an option. It's the only real reversal that she has. Okay, Ice Spike, yeah. Nice throws. Why weathering the storm? Found their chance. Oh, but drops the combo again. Still had a miss final level two. Was gonna be able to get the knockdown here. Back up against the wall. Not a lot of resources. He still has burst. Does get clipped. Are you gonna spend it or are you just gonna hold on to it for the next round? There it is, it's spent. Oh, beautiful air throw. With the meter here, should be no problem for Zwei. The hit gets the round is on the board in the reset. 
still though, RTW just has to win one more game, right? Versus Wise 2. RTW still firmly right now in a solid position. You just gotta cool things down, slow the pace of the match down a little bit, and don't allow Zwei to get carried away. You were doing a really good job blowing up a lot of those 6Ks. Let's see more of that going into this next one. Don't let him steal turns. Oh my god, Rouse again, Rouse turned 6P just answering. That time the dashboard was getting blessed. And RTW already with the lead. The Goldbergs comes out. Zwei running out of resources, already spending it early in the dust, the 5D! The first, first time, time it comes that. through, it connects my Thebans. Pulling out a lot of first times now in this matchup. All the stops to try and put Zwei away. Nice tech there, bro. Time to internet shit. Party time. Oh, wait, we'll score the low here into the ice spike. Corner to corner. And there's no. knocked on the screen mix ups. That's yeah, right. Into the throw. There we go. Tournament point now. RTW. One round away. It's all RTW needs to send. Why not? To, to back to his locals in a casket. <laughs> well, what other tricks do we have up our sleeve? Right now, we're going for good old reliable. Just keeping the pressure up with the fire bubble. Double jump to bait out the anti air. First available. There it is. That's why. Gets a hit, but gets gold. Oh, first hit, matches burst back. The Blitz Wars are one. RTW just one combo away. Dash away hits. Ice spike. Doesn't get a double, oh. but still with all this meter here. Yeah, that's why can't jump. get thrown. Can't get hit. Does get clipped, but it's still not enough to close it out. Goes for the Blitz, and there it is. RTW with the reset, with the 3 1. Beautiful performance wins your TNS exit number eight. Oh, from the loser's side. Incredible. And the best way, the funniest way, literally.